I wanna be the shrine maiden. This is one of those I wanna be the guy fan games. There's a lot of them in existence. Uh, and this is one that was made, uh, you know, for Toho. And it's, uh, um, well, I'm pretty sure if I said this game is not good, there would not be a single soul on the planet who would say otherwise. All right. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the OST is comprised of MIDI files from all the different Toho games. So, you know, in case, you, you, you know, your, uh, the assault on your senses wasn't enough, there's also, uh, there's also that. <laughs> but that's not even the worst part. I have to adjust the volume, so give me a moment to do that. But chat, I need you... Fucking pourquoi? Pourquoi? <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's try window capture. That worked better. It's very loud! Holy shit! Alright, give me the- where's the- Alright, I've turned it down to 40. How's that, chat? Is that better? Okay. So... Yeah. So as you can see- so I've- chat, I've- mm -hmm. Right clicks out when I click out of the window. So, I, I booted up the game to get the controls to work. And, you know, I've seen the first screen of the game, but of course, you gotta, you gotta try the tutorial, right? The tutorial will teach you how to play. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this is a great game. Uh, I can already tell I'm gonna have a great, phenomenal time with it. And I'm ready to start the video game. Uh, yep. So, uh, okay. You ready? So I set my buttons up. So I have jump, I have shoot, and I have restart from late at the last checkpoint. And as you can see, it takes a little bit of time to actually load things in. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna walk over to the start thing and I'm gonna activate the first screen of the game. Pretty good. Okay. So what do I do, chat? What do I ha what do I do? This the screen has no solution that is immediately obvious to me. So place your bets how long it takes me to get to the end of it. Ah. That's not so bad. Okay. That's not so bad. There we go, okay. Alright, okay, okay, alright, okay. Alright, I I don't I don't trust that. Did it we good? Are we good? We're good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Screen two. Screen two. No problem. Just gotta, you know, just gotta do it. Does shooting actually do anything in these games? Uh, like seriously, does the shoot button actually accomplish anything? I guess there are bosses. Yeah. Hmm.
Okay. All right. How did that one hit me, but the first one did? <laughs> no. You wouldn't. What? <laughs> okay. All right, now, really, the question is how long can I play this while I still think it's funny? When will this game turn into an absolute, absolute trash heap? By the way, chat, I thought of a new emote that I want that I'm going to look into eventually. But right now... All of my emote guys are busy! Ah. Uh... So, you know, it'll, it'll, fucking jeez, it'll give me, uh, I'll get, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get on it eventually. Got some pretty exciting stuff on the lineup. How could I forget? How could I forget that that was there? Ugh. It's fine. By the way, October is coming up soon as well. I don't actually have any games planned except for Yomawari. Son of a bitch. Yomawari, uh, the third game in the series is getting localized, like I think in mid-October, so I'm probably grabbing that as soon as it comes out. And I want to play that, because I played the other two games, and I like them. I think they're pretty horrifying in terms of their designs. Oh my god. But they are, oh. They can be quite frustrating. Like, they're, they're kinda, they can be pretty frustrating in the wrong times. And the collect, uh, the collection aspect of the game, it's neat. I like the collection aspect, but my problem is I don't like running around town at the mercy of like everything. I tried to back up. I promise you. I dodged this once by accident. And now I can't dodge it anymore. Okay. It's great atmospheric horror. Yeah. It's pretty horrifying. But the fact that everything can kill you the way it does is also kind of a negative, in my opinion. Oh my god. Uh, cause... When you try to explore and find collectibles and stuff, you're oftentimes dealing with like one... One thing. You're dealing with like one thing, and that one thing is still liable to kill you, but you have to deal with it to like even just search for a collectible. So it can be really annoying. I've been meaning to watch a playthrough, a 100% playthrough. I did that for the first game. Okay, I made it. What are you doing there? What? Okay. Huh. <laughs> She's just there. Alright. Oh, what the? Huh? Wait, can I shoot them? Oh, maybe I can shoot them. Maybe they're enemies that are shootable. It's possible. Oops. Okay. Alright, that's the third time I've done that. This music is so poorly timed to the action that it's actually killing me. That didn't hit me. Come on now. What are you doing? Who are you, who are you trying? Who are you trying to scam here? There was a boss in the uh, second. Wow. I'm gonna get. She's gonna chat. Twenty quid. 
She's gonna, she's gonna rocket, rocket jump. 20 quid, right here. She's gonna fucking rocket jump and kill me. Alright. Fuck. Where's my quid? Where's my quid? I knew it. I fucking knew it. It was so obvious. <laughs> so obvious. Anyone could have seen that coming. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, Shalali, for the gift and stuff. Oh! Okay. I got this. Okay, I didn't actually think that was gonna happen. I bet I can make that. I bet I can make that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay. Alright, I just had to be sure. I would check with their blocks there, that's all. Because now I can just do this. That's just a wall. Damn it. Uh, I think I see how the staircase works though. So now it's just a matter of doing it. I got it. Take a walk on the wild side. Fuck, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Solved. God damn it. Okay. Got it. Who's that? Hmm. Who that? I think it's Luna, actually. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I had a really good first start there, but now, now things are a little different. Holy Jesus, the low time, though. Oh! <laughs> the bullets she shoots are bigger than her. Oh, that, that'll work. Oh, no, it won't. Damn, how did I get over there so easily the first time? Is it because I stopped and saved? Okay. Damn, Alice Mitty. Faster!
Yes! All right. Well done, Reimu, but I still don't think you, you have what it takes to become Shry Maiden. That was just a test course. Now the fun begin. Where's fun? Which, which direction is fun? This way? If you kill me... What the? WHY ARE YOU LIKE THIS?! Okay, that was probably my own fault. But now I'm back here. Is it really my fault? Is it really 100% without a doubt unquestionably my fault that what happened there happened? Can you truly honestly tell me that what happened there was 100% my fault? <laughs> Why did I die? Why was that even a thing? What was that all about? What was that all doing? What was going on there? Why am I not moving? Raymond, did you like give up? Jeez, took you long enough. Oh my god. Dude, it takes so long to load every time I die! Ah, oh, come on. Remini Jim Jims. You messed up my dollar. Rama. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> The title of the stream exists for a very good reason. <laughs> you know the worst part about this is this is already all said and done. I already finished this. This is already a thing I did. God damn it. <clears throat> Bum 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 bum. Let's take it nice and slow. Ooh. Excellent. Fun is infinite! Fun is infinite! Fun is infinite! Okay. Fun is infinite! I'm out of here, dog. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Chow. Mm. What do you think Misty does? Oh, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> I'm not a Gnoblin. I'm not a Gnome. What killed me? Why is the ceiling killing me? Ah! 
Oh, you, 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 uh, I didn't mean to jump there. I actually thought I wasn't going to land on that block, so I tried to angle a double jump. So it was perfect. Ha, 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 dumbass. Oh, <laughs> why? You know what I could be doing right now? I could be doing anything else but this. Okay. <laughs> ah, great. <laughs> That's good, yeah. What? Okay. What? What happened? Well, I touched the... These elevators are goofy. You know... Um, that's fine. Honestly, it's not that big a deal. It's just... Come the fuck on, man. What? What? So what do you think happens when I clear this section? It's okay. I hit the save block. <laughs> okay, what's the what's the plan? Do I touch them? I see blocks. I see blocks. Roger. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, I have a better idea. Watch this. Alright, now if I save there, we're golden. I knew it. Did I really miss that block? Okay, that's fine. I know where that is. Okay, well, hold on. My brain may have malfunctioned. Okay, but what does it mean? Oh, that's what it means. Yep. Oh! Oh! Look at that. Snipe the save block. Oh, it didn't even matter. Ah, oh, I see the teleporter's down. Ah, mm, yes. Ah, mm, I see. So I need to do... Okay, but what do you want me to do there? You cunt! No! No! Woo! I made it. Okay. All right, everybody put your brains together for this room. Um
I'm assuming I'm getting to the other end of the screen. Maybe. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> There's no music when I die instantly. But isn't that just what everybody's always wanted? I had that too and I slipped off of it, damn it. It's fine. Honestly, it doesn't matter at all because this is such a uh, easy room. It's got to nail it. So chat, that uh that show, uh Licorice Recoil or whatever the fuck. Uh I think it's done airing now. Uh and I hear it's pretty good. So probably going to check it out. Probably going to check it out. Maybe not tonight, maybe not tomorrow. But if it is finished, then I'll probably start it up, give it a look see. I don't know what it's about at all. It's just the one it's like the main series, or the main show from this season that's really been uh, like, in my face. Okay. Well. You know, this was going so much better about five seconds ago. It's fine. Still one more episode? Okay, then I'll... I'll... I will wait! I will wait. Mmm. 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 Rainbow explodes into a bloody pulp. This is how the two who that I know has always been. Mmm. Yeah, that's uh that's the main one I guess I'm probably gonna check out from this season. Just uh few other things maybe really depends how i feel i still haven't seen the made in abyss movie yet i haven't had a good time to watch it because i haven't been staying up super late as of recent which has been better for overall because i've been able to wake up earlier still not you know i'm not waking up before noon or anything crazy like that okay holy shit stop that why is what is the what is the weird ass gravity with this elevator. Oh my god. I've seen the other screen once. What a dude. Hitbox as much? Okay, that one was my fault. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I guess whether or not it wants to actually do that to me is uh, <laughs> seemingly random. Okay. And I'm dead on the air. And I'm dead on the spike. And I'm dead by the Kadama. And I'm pushed into the spike. Sometimes it pushes me up on top of it. Sometimes it pushes me below it. Really, it's just anyone's guess what happens to me when I go for these uh, these jumps. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. Mm. What's weird is I've done this, you know. <laughs> I did it with this before, like, pretty quickly. But it seems like I can't get it consistently because sometimes the platforms don't work sometimes the platforms don't work the way they did in the last time and i don't really know how to change that that one was my bad that was a bad jump
How could I have possibly known which position the platform was at when I got there? Ha! That was actually really good. What changed? What did he do differently? You know, I don't like how every part of the spike is an instant kill hitbox because it just feels like it shouldn't be, but also like the hitboxes on the spikes don't feel accurate. Oh, that was weird. Mmm. Good thing there's no death counter here. It would probably have hit a hundred on this room alone. Okay. Damn it. I don't imagine, like, people don't talk about this game. So I have to assume the reason for that is because it's not a very good game. It was good enough to get a sequel, and, well, all right. But I don't know if that really made a difference in the overall score. I really like jumping off that third platform and not having a double jump because of the way the fucking thing works. But you hear the sound effect for the single jump, but you still don't have a double jump. That keeps happening on these platforms. I panicked. Okay. Hmm. The sequel was a different person. Well, that's fine. That's, you know what? That's fine. Sometimes a game doesn't need to be good to get a sequel. Yeah, I know. I watch anime. I know how this works. <laughs> Uh, actually, Dress Up Darling got a season two announcement, which I'm actually kind of excited for because that show, that show was strangely wholesome. That show was strangely wholesome, and I actually really enjoyed it, even though it was, you know, definitely very lewd. Monica Chow, baby! Monica Chow! Okay. Why is there a save point there? I don't feel comfortable saving in that room. I really don't. Just put spikes on the wall if you're gonna do that, man. Oh, she's a boss. Oh, she's a boss. What is she like exploding? That's weird. I want to kill those fairies first. Okay. Every time I press start, that happens. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. All right. So I guess I have to give it the runaround or something like that. I don't really know. Yeah, it seems like I gotta give it the runaround. The circular motion, motion. But even if I save in this room, it doesn't save the damage I've done. I could try and just restream it on the bottom and not go up top. That might work. I can give it a shot. Yeah, that could work. Uh, with some finessing, I can use the only the bottom lane. Hmm. That's fine. No, I have it all under control. I just need to hit her 17 times. 
I don't know if that's actually accurate. Too light a jump. Too light a jump. Too light a jump. Well, sometimes you gotta be careful with Season 2s, because the longer they take to come out, the more likely it's not gonna be the same studio. As we're seeing with Devil's a Part-Timer right now, how that's exactly what happened to it. That's exactly what happened to it. It's a different still. Uh, it's a different studio, and it feels really like different, which is kind of a shame because I was really looking forward to that myself. It's a big announcement of like a show that I really enjoyed, and then it's coming back, but then it's coming back with a completely different like head behind it, and it's like, hmm. Okay. I don't want to go the top route. I really don't. One Punch Man Season 2. Yeah. One Punch Man Season 2 was also done by a different studio. And... I... Oops. One Punch Man Season 2 was done by a different studio as well. And it showed. So... It was lacking. In a few, uh, few areas. Hmm... <clears throat> I don't even know how you're supposed to go around the top, so I don't want to try it. I don't really have a better way to do this. Okay. That was pretty good. Alright. If only I knew how many hits she took. Hmm. 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 Six hits at the start is good. panicked. I fucked up. I goofed! Okay. So she has more than 12 hits. Okay. More than 12 hits. More than 12 hits. Oh, man. Maybe I do go up top. I don't really know how this works. Whoops. Ah! This might be the rest of the stream. This just might be the rest of the stream. Fuck. My plan works if that block's still there. Hmm. Did I just walk on that Kadama? Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I goofed. Okay. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have jumped. Uh, if I can, I can get six hits there, and then I can loop back under her faster if I avoid more of the platforms that go down. Wow, I hit every single one of them. Uh, 
Um, maybe I should test what the walls hit me. I got an idea. I got another idea. Wow, that was lucky. <laughs> I might have fucked up. Maybe I can get nine hits if I'm super cheeky. Oh! To fuck you all! God damn it. Okay, I can get nine hits on her being a cheeky boy. How fucking sturdy are you? How many hits you got? I can't be doing this forever. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me, but I'm pretty confident I walked on one of those Kadama just a second ago. How strange. How strange. Okay. Bro! What is this? What is going on? What is happening? I touched the wall. That was a foolish idea. Why would you touch the wall, you dumbass? Ah! This this fine. This is this is you know, I had she only has like 20 plus fucking hits. Hum hum Hum. I fucked up. No. Okay. All right. I got. Twenty six. Oh, my Jesus. The ha. She's got to have like thirty, I guess. That's not a good idea. Okay. All right. Okay, that's not a good idea either. Let's get the nine hits and do the loop. Okay. Man, you gotta get that, like, right perfectly or it doesn't work, huh? <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> you think the person that made this is still around? You think they're still like active? You think they still make games? Oops, wrong jump, wrong jump, wrong jump. trying to think the best way to do these things, but I really don't see a way to get around the biggest hurdle. That was really good though. Oh god damn it. Alright. Why does she have like a billion hits? That was 28. <laughs> okay. Now I'll be really, I just kind of forgot what I was doing, so I was holding to the button to the direction that I needed to go, and it just, you know, it wasn't actually the direction I needed to go anymore. Okay. Why can't I jump off of them sometimes? Okay. It's a boss. 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 I guarantee you it gets better.
Fucking wall. I hate the wall. Why is the wall a kill zone, dude? I rather appreciate how I fucked up my jump and got no assault on that, uh, no offense on that return. I was holding the button again. Okay. That's gotta be the worst decision I've ever seen, is making the wall just kill you. It'd be one thing if it was spikes, but just making the wall flat out kill you? The wall, the ceiling, the floor, it all kills you. It just kills you. I should have known. That big purple bullet was coming my way. I should have known. I've, I've already fucked up. She died. She died! Ah! How many shots was that? 30? That's greedy. I can't, I can't see straight. I can't, I'm, uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, you ever heard of grazing, Rain Moon? Come on now. I missed one again.
Why am I like this? That's fine. Honestly, that's fine. That's just no problem. Just do it again. Patience, Raymu. Patience. What if everyone in the world had no patience? Do you think that you would be where you are today? Science, art, feelings all come together as a natural harmony. But you, Raymu, you are something completely different. Wiggle, 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 You gonna kill me? No? Impressive. Wait, well, there was, was there an elevator there the whole time? I didn't even see it. <clears throat> um, pretty sure I saw an elevator. Is it coming back? Am I losing my mind? What do I do here? Oh wait, oh because it says, it says patience Raymu, patience. Nothing ever gets anywhere with that little patience. Well, you're right. Maybe I'll just sit here for the next indefinite amount of time and wait for you to bring the fucking elevator over so I can die again and then have to wait another fucking whatever you wanted me to wait here. Great, yep, let me just do literally anything else except play the game right now. It's a very good design, by the way. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, here it comes. Ah! I see the platforms though. They're at the bottom of the screen. I have to get off the I have to get off of it. Okay. So did anyone count how long that took? Because we're doing it again. I want to be the very best. Watch shouldn't do a flip. Ready? Here we go. Here comes the flip. Good flip. No one can see it though, but you're going to take my word for it, chat. Pretty good flip. Okay. Let me straighten out your back. Stand up straight. Pop your collar. Fix your sleeves. Good to go. Okay. No, saving, the only thing saving does is, uh, it's, it saves my position, but all the map resets. Ah! I tried, I want, no, I didn't, no. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't want to land on the platform again. I, I jumped early intentionally. Oh, 45 seconds. Huh? It takes 45 seconds to play the game. There's no fucking save block. I have to wait for the platform again. St Stop winking at me, damn it. <gasps> ah! Why does the ceiling do that? I don't think anyone will truly understand why it does that, but yeah, it does. Okay. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> it's fine. Sorry, I didn't mean to guttural scream, but, uh, you know, that one- that one came from the heart. Because I genuinely forgot about the ceiling, and when it killed me, I was devastated. I'm not- I wasn't trying to play anything up. That's just how I felt, internally. <laughs> it's bashy time! That's okay. These things happen. It's only, you know, everybody really, really likes waiting 45 seconds to actually attempt the, uh, the, the level segment. This is why when you make a game chat, it's important that you get, you get two kinds of people to play it. You get the people who are good at the game to play it, and you get the people who aren't very good at the game to play it. And if both of them have the same complaints about something, then odds are you fucked up! And I would say, you fucked up here! Hmm. A chocolate bar? Quick, Patrick, think. If you could have something right now, what would you be? Oh, uh, more time for thinking. I wonder where that platform's gone. There it is. I can't wait for it to come back.
You. I saw it coming. I honestly, I saw it coming. Who, who, fucking, what kind of fucking idiot didn't see that one coming? Truly, I didn't. Like, you should have just like my blood pressure. Whoa! I think all the blood has left my head and it's gone somewhere else. Whoa! All right. All right. Do you like that platform that almost killed me? Uh, I don't remember where it was. The only reason I knew where the one I was standing on was because when I died on the ceiling, I saw the blood splatter. <laughs> it's okay, there's a sequel! There's a sequel! So if you couldn't get enough of the first one, there's a second one! I feel it in my arms. My, my arteries, even. They're clogging. Congestion. Ulcers. Ajita. Is the sequel any good? I don't know, dude. Play it and find out. <laughs> Pop. I see it. Okay. I thought that was the right spot, though. I really did. <clears throat> Here's the thing about these kinds of games, chat. They have a reputation for being, you know, you know, like, asshole memory for sure. But at the very least, with all the asshole memory they employ, this isn't one of the tactics you see in those types of games. Even Kaizo games don't have this kind of annoying bullshit. Do you know how unfun it is to wait for something? Because waiting for something has nothing to do with a player's skill. In Kaizo games, you get right into the action. That's why there are quick restart buttons. But when you have to wait 45 seconds to even do the challenge, that's terrible. You should consider not making a game if that's your idea of difficulty. your hand covered in blue goo I don't like the blue goo is that a shadow probably just a shadow but it looks like her hand is cased in some blue goo where'd that blue goo come from what are you winking about huh what's going on here I had to jump forward. I had to jump forward! Alright. You know, the best part is every 45 seconds, I get to learn one new thing about the... About the, uh... The th I, get to I, like, I get to learn one new thing about the segment. Every... Every minute and a half. Every minute and a half. Where'd that goo come from? Hmm? Where'd you get that goo from? The Alice Goo. Alright, quick. Chat. What is the Alice Goo? Ro wrong answers only. Actually, hmm. <laughs> maybe I should... Maybe I should choose what I ask carefully. Maybe right answer. Where did that goo come from? Wouldn't it really suck if I missed this jump?
Bam 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 ba da dum ba da dum ba da dum. Around the world, around the world. All right. If there was just goo lying around the forest of magic, wouldn't that just be crushed mushrooms then? Like mushrooms? Ha 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 Hey chat, wanna hear a funny joke? Here, all right, here, here's a joke. What happens when you boil a funny bone? You get laughing stock. I still have to wait for the elevator. This is nowhere near finished. Pardon moi! Okay, do I even bother waiting for the elevator or do I go for the spike path? The rest of the game. Just the elevator. You are the worst human being on the planet to make this game. I fucking hate you. That's how I feel right now. Alright, now we wait. Now we wait. Chat, you know the funniest thing about that September emote? Is that I'm pretty sure everyone in the entire site unanimously agreed that it should never be used if, unless it's being used sarcastically or rudely. Did that just- did it just turn around? Did it just fucking turn around? Why did it turn around?! No invisible platform. No, I gotta wait for another fucking elevator, I bet. I knew that would happen, but I had to confirm it. Okay. You know, that guitar riff for trying again is the worst noise humanity has ever created. Now that I've confirmed the roof can kill me, I can't stop dying to it. That's a new one. Hmm. So if I hit that save block over the over the air, I would have just been fucked because there wouldn't have been anything I could do about it. That was an accident. Like if I hit it over the air, I would have just fell into the spikes every time. That's a great design. Would have been the end of the game. An hour in, we had to do the whole thing again. So what was a uh, yeah? No, I mean. All right, I have to wait for something, but I don't know what I'm waiting for. When do I go, chat? I'm gonna wait until a second elevator appears. See, there's there's the first elevator. That elevator just goes backwards, right? That elevator goes backwards. So I gotta wait for another elevator.
That's uh, surely coming. Um. It's uh. It's on the way. It uh, it it do be coming. It's uh, it's on, it's on the way. Maybe an elevator will show up, you know, maybe, maybe it'll show up and I'll be able to see what's going on. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's, maybe it's right there. Maybe it's coming. So what do you, 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 Not that path. Okay. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Bye block. Bye. What if that block takes you to the next area? What if the next area is up? I'm stuck. Does does anyone does anyone have an answer? Cause I I don't anymore. No, there's there's no invisible blocks. Maybe you go back. What would going back do though? What if I make it rain blood and see if I can see a platform? Oh! Oh, I see it! It's by the A and game over. I see it. I see the invisible block. This is the worst game I've ever played in my life, and I've played a lot of video games. Alright. No, I got it. I, I see it. I see... Ouch. It's just a bunch of shitty invisible platforms that only activate when you get close to them. Alright, so now what? <laughs> Where's the next one? Two strawberries over, so here? Huh? 
this is great. Before? Okay. I can't do the rainbow test because I can't get high enough for the screen to splatter everywhere. Alright, so you ever think about how games are designed with the intention of fun? I think about that a lot. All right. Where's the next one? <laughs> Wait, I see where one is. You see that? It's that dot above the strawberry. But I don't think I can reach that in this jump. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. It doesn't it doesn't end. Why is it like this? <laughs> I saw the teleporter though. I saw the teleporter. Now this is good. Now this is, now this is pod racing. Now this, Gungaga. Now this, this is, this is the all-star. Now this, bro, what the f I hit the save point. All right, that's pretty good. Okay. Good spot to hit the save point. Even if it was entirely by accident. <laughs> Try to align yourself with the first strawberries on the left side. You mean the block I just hit? Or was there a different block? I forgot what I was doing. Align yourself with the first strawberries on the left side. I don't think I can make that. Uh, am I going back? Uh, okay. What next? Am I am I taking a leap? Am I taking a leap or what? <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh. What? Whatever comes next is below me, but where is it? Where was it? Oh shit, where was it? Uh fuck. Three strawberries over? Uh on it. Hold on. Are you talking about I okay, are you talking about strawberry line four or strawberry line five? Like this is this is strawberry two I'm next to. Am I jumping to strawberry four? Or am I dropping to strawberry five? To four, okay. Got it. What's next? 
What's what's next? Do I do I go for it? Do do I do I go for it? It's right there. It's right there. Do I go for it? In between five and six. Do I go for it? Is that it? Do I do I go for it? I made it. That's not good. That's not good imagery. <laughs> I can't show that on stream. I gotta go. Oh lord, she coming! In more ways than one! Ah! There's no way you just- you just told me- It's no way you're putting invisible blocks there, in that situation. There's no way you did that and thought it was a good idea. There's just no fucking way you did that and thought it was a good idea. Hold on. Looks like it's in between the strawberries, I guess. Okay. Oh, nice. I did hit the block. Okay. That's why I took that shot. I got it. Wow, Reimu, you really are the Shrine Maiden. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Why are there even spikes below me? I'm so getting hit. I slipped off the block. Goodbye! I see, it's the last strawberry. I just can't wait to get out of the strawberry zone. You know, chat, you know how in Bashi there's a room called the good level design room and it's a level compri it's a it's a it's a room comprised entirely of spikes. I think that room might actually be better designed in this game. You know, I just I just think that maybe that that level that room is a bit tongue in cheek about how some people design these games and I think that it is ironically a better room than what I'm playing this entire fucking game. It looks like from that point on, it's just a straight shot, so maybe I can get it. You know, the worst part about that is that was just supposed to be a jump off the platform, but I slid off of it. 
and it used my double jump instead. I did it again. God damn it. Why didn't I see that spike there? <laughs> it's over. I did it. Now that we've discovered the origins of Alice Goo, we gotta get out of here. It just, just keeps getting better and better. Fuck, you can't just change the pattern like that! I died off screen! Oh, oh, calm down. Chillax. It's just a shitty game. <laughs> just a shitty game. Roger. Dum 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 No, this is Voyage 1970. <laughs> <clears throat> My brain does not cooperate! Son of a bitch. Okay. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. Yeah! I can't remember how this works. I can't remember. You know, the worst part about this is I'm almost certain it's gonna make me have to jump at the end of it. So that's why I'm doing, I'm holding my jump for so long. Cause I feel like I'm gonna need it at the end of this. I keep getting hit by that spike. Alright, hold on. I need a mental reset here for a second. It's because it's a MIDI file. You know what a MIDI file is? <laughs> Alright, here we go. A 
my break. God damn it. My break just made me forget how to do it. I don't need my jump. I can use my jump as an air break. Okay. Skrillex midi. Eventually, I'll get through this. 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 Okay, all right. Um, I'm th I'm, um, give me one moment to just like think about why I'm here and what I'm doing right now. All right, all right. Picture of the lead. Sa uh, the I don't. Can you call? What do you? What is Skrillex? Chat. I haven't actually heard Skrillex like their name in fucking years. Are they even still relevant? Uh, like, are they still relevant? What about Dead Mousy? What about that guy? What, what about what about Dead Mousy? I was gonna call him the lead singer, and I was like, wait a minute, they don't sing in Skrillex. They they use uh they use they use uh they use a MacBook. Eventually, I will figure this out. And when I do, oh my lord, help me. Because I will be an unstoppable creature. God damn it. Skrillex just one. You tell me one guy made all that music. One guy didn't Skrillex do the opening song for Kingdom Hearts three? I really hope he didn't. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know what the patterns are. I just can't remember them in the moment when I get to the screen. I can't remember them in time. Ah, and the more I die, the more squishy my brain becomes. Oh, come on! I had that! Mm. Fuck yeah, first try. Yeah, I don't really, uh... I don't really know what that one... What am I doing here? Right, the wall kills you, I forgot. Right.
Actually, that might be a good idea. What the fuck? Ah. Uh. Just go for the quick kill. Just go for the quick kill. What is the name of the spell card? It's it's titled My First Spell Card, Smiley Face. Hmm. Eat my dick! You didn't just kill me, did you? You you, you, didn't, you didn't just fucking ki you just fucking you fucking killed me! You killed me, dude! Why did you kill me? Okay. Stop thinking about Mario! Hey, Bailano! Ah, yo, Bailano! Wee, 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 Where's the piranha? Where's the funny piranha? Ho! Oh, Owen? There is no turning back from this point, Reimu. Are you ready to face what you love the most? Let's start with the embodiment of Scarlet Devil. Okay. Is that what I love most? Um... Is that what I love most? Oh shit, that's me! Huh. Hmm. Okay. You can't show that. That's an ending. No! You can't do that! That's illegal! You gotta be off your fucking rocker, my guy, my guy. Okay. It's really not that bad. You just have to practice 1,000 hours, and you too will be a fucking master of this game. I hate this game, but it's okay. I'm actually getting hungry, so it will be there will be a tendies break soon. Definitely, I will be eating tendies. I will figure this out eventually. Hmm. Ready for funny? You ready for some funny? <laughs> Woo! What a knee slapper! Oh, fucking god damn it. I uh, got to get into it. Oops. <clears throat>
Wow, Reimu. You really are the embodiment of a Scarlet Devil. <laughs> Which one is it gonna be? There's platforms below it to dodge. Do 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 do. Wow, that was weird. I need to play every single like lose fanfare ever created over over like over itself. Chat, can somebody can somebody do that? Can somebody compile like every single lose fanfare you've ever heard in a video game and just cram it all together in one big audio jungle? And I can just play it every time I lose. You know, just give me everything. Give me, give me Mario Party. Give me Donkey Kong. Give me, give me every single. Give me Kirby. Give me every, every single one of them. Get player score in there. Give me the, give me the Castlevania. Do 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 do. Yeah, fuck it. I need all of it. All of it. Oh, clocks. Come on now, little old me a hero. Surely you, Justin. Surely you, Justin. Wanna bet if something falls on my head? Oh, I saved, so I don't care anymore. Fuck you. That doesn't matter, I saved. Your funny haha -ha moment does not affect me in the slightest. I'm not laughing. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. I was just checking for secrets. That's all. <clears throat> okay. I was just checking for secrets. You know, you never know where you're gonna find a secret. Hmm. Actually, that was a good idea. Let me do that again. Rainbow, I need to borrow your blood. I see, I see. Okay, I understand completely. Yeah. Alright. Okay. That's a hard jump to make, but I'm confident I can make it, and now I'm going to attempt to make it. I got scared. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay. Yeah, I would fall in between two invisible blocks like that, wouldn't I? That just seems like a very, a very, uh, you know, classic maneuver. Dude, I cannot believe what just happened to me. Don't fall on my head. Save point. Do 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 do. Mailing. Now I know what you're thinking. What was that? And the answer is I don't know, cause I it seemed good in my head, and then I got in a uh, like a, a routine, and then it. Didn't work anymore. It's a good screen.
what's going on there? What are you doing? What are you doing? You didn't give me a feedback. That's all. Why did that start happening? Oh my god, I have to do all that over again. Time to go. Randall! I see. You can kill the green fairies. Or, no you can't. What? Okay, this isn't actually too bad. You just don't get it, do you, Remu? I've tried to tell you. <gasps> tell me what? Tell me what? Hold on. Dramatic tension ruined. Very good. But you just won't listen. Your mouse will guide you through this next part. What do you mean? What do you mean my mouse? My mouse is not on the screen, you idiot. Ah, I know that, me, D. Oh, shit! My mouse is a flashlight now! Oh! Look at that! Innovation! Ooh! Alright.
Bro, I can still see just fine. Does this flashlight do anything of interest, or is it just like there? Because I don't fucking need it, I can see. <laughs> I don't want to die to a P block. Chat, can you see? I don't actually care if you can see. The elevator is invisible without it. You, you, you court jester. You, you silly boy. You telling me you can't see that elevator? What the hell did I... Huh? <laughs> huh. I can see the elevator. Yeah. 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 What do I do about that? I guess that's just not the right thing. I guess I have to follow the block down and that's the way to go or some shit like that. Who knows? Oh, wait, I know what I did. Alright, let me put my light right here in just the middle of the screen so it's like super obnoxious and yeah, see what it does. They will follow you, Reimu. Will they? Okay. They can die. Reimu, they'll follow you. Reimu, this is not a- Why are you doing it in this room? Woo! I'm holding- a direction this time. Whoa. Who, who, who? How do I- they- you can't fucking kill them. Ah. Ah. Okay. play the, the video game, you know, give me like a uh, chat in 20 minutes. I'm taking a attendees break That like almost worked almost I guess I just need to get through this like really fast Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right it's a it's below the U and next and next to the T. Okay, or, I'm not the U, the Y. The fucking ceiling killed me. Oh, I'm dead. All right. You know, I like to think that maybe what I'm doing is correct, but the game will continue to punish me until I learn my lesson. Listen, I've done, I've done, I've done a lot for this game at this point. I've, 
I've danced to its tune. Today, it's gonna dance to mine. Or not. They died. Oh no. Ah! Okay. Oh. Okay. You know, I forgot what I was doing. I'm trying to go over this whole contraption. Okay. Well, now what? Do I just... Do I just Hail Mary it? Oh, fuck, that actually worked. <laughs> that actually worked. Uh. Actually worked out pretty well too. No, no, I needed that block. I needed it. It was needed. Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, hold on. I, I got it all... I got it all figured out. Like, the brilliance of my scheme. Alright, now that two of them are dead, I simply approach the elevator. And I die, because I'm I'm blind. I got it. No, I got it. 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 That's not gonna hit me. That's not gonna hit me. That's not gonna hit me. Oh, we're going down. Ready? Here we go. Ba ba boo. Okay. Do you see the elevator shot? Surely you do. Surely you see the elevator. Oh, the ceiling doesn't kill me this time. Oh my Christ. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Holy Jesus, this is some bad platforming. Okay. I wish to try again. It'd be nice if it started closer to me, don't you think? Can I make this? I need to make sure I can make this here without waiting on that. Okay, I can. Alright, that's all I needed. Too fast. Oh, how many jumps do I have to make? Seven of them. That'd be good if I could jump them. But I don't know the best way to handle this situation. Chat has been two hours. It's been two hours. I've been playing this game and I'm still here and I am having a great time. Having a fantastic time. That should not have killed me. But that's alright because 
this this is a pretty this is a great game and I'm you know it's a lot of fun and it's very well made and has a lot of spirit in it. And by spirit, I mean it's definitely haunted by some vengeful ghost that does not like human beings. That's all. That's all I mean. That's all I'm thinking. You gotta understand that when I jump there and I clearly land on the elevator, it still somehow manages to hit the spike hitbox. I just don't know how anyone could try this and think, yeah, it's pretty uh, solid design. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just an old fart who doesn't get it. I'm not with the times, but I, I, when I look at this, I think, I wonder how many times the developer tried this room. Hmm. How many times do you think the developer tried this room before he gave up and moved on to the next room? It picked me up. The mo fucking picked me up. Zero. We just- we're just not showing any respect for the dev, huh? <laughs> Didn't even try the room he made. Not even- not even once. Not even once. Didn't even try the room. Just- just made it and was like, yep. Alright. Good enough. Good room. It's possible. <laughs> hmm. Too early. Too late. All right. Do you see how ridiculously accurate you have to be on that fucking platform to not touch the non part of the spike? I don't understand how I keep dying to that part. Like, I, you gotta be, like, directly centered, but you can't get any goddamn height because the... F mm. Okay. All right. No, I've seen worse. I played worse earlier. <laughs> this is just really bad. <laughs> Oh man. Worse was waiting 45 seconds to play an invisible maze. 45 seconds for an elevator to show up. And then when you get to the end of it, another additional 30 seconds for the elevator to complete its round. You gotta think about mistakes. What is a Twitch emote? Uh, it's something that created that for free that I guess uh, corporate really liked or somebody with more power than they probably should have really liked. So they decided that every user should be able to use it. And they're never going to get rid of it. Despite it being a horrendous abomination. Because somebody in power likes it. And when somebody in power likes something on the site, they, uh, they hold on to that power for as long as they can. Because you can't question... Can't question that authority. Got the hang of it a little bit there. <clears throat> no, I understand. I, I can see uh, it's your first time, <laughs> first time in here. Uh, this is the first. I, this is actually the first. I want to be the guy game I've ever played. Not a good first game, but I've seen. You know, I've seen gameplay of some of the other ones for sure. But I have uh, done. There has been significantly worse in this game already than this part. But this part is proving to be pretty awful. All things considered. Oh my god. <laughs> it was a sub goal. I had to do it. I had to do it. I promised. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting my fucking tenders.
Good day, sir. May I request only the finest chicken tenderloins with a side of your sweetest honey Dijon sauce. Yes. I'm heating my tendies up. Okay. It's fine. Look look how much of a handle I have on the situation now. Look look how good I have gotten at this specific spot. What what happened? Where where did it all go wrong? Ah, oh, man. Come on. Okay. <laughs> One more try and I'm gonna get my tendies and I'm gonna eat like a king. Okay. Eat my dick. How does that sound? Be right back. I have a turn. I do not have... I do not have honey mustard sauce. However, I have barbecue sauce, which is pretty good. All right. I got a hand wiper. I got my controller. I got no patience anymore. I'm ready. All right. lunch so what do I do in that last jump do you think like when I get to the last jump should I should I just I can't sh overshoot it I guess I just I don't know what to do there at all you know even if I get through this there's still a whole section after it that I have to do really bad hmm okay like what comes after that is doesn't look that bad but it's also probably some kind of bullshit going on in there and sometimes I just can't get my jump in that's another thing Come on, man. The jump doesn't go in. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, man. The question is what happens after the second one? There's clearly nothing down there that I can see. Seriously, what do I do about that? That ha that came down as soon as I pretty much landed in the safe spot. Like, how do you- how do I dodge that? I don't know how you dodge that. Mm -hmm. I can't double jump because I'm already double jumping to get over the spike. Oh. You can clear it with a single jump, huh? 
Oh. She can clear with a single jump. I've been double jumping. Needs to be really specific, though. No, that's still a double jump. Hmm. That's still a double jump that's happening there. Because I'm doing it off the side. Unless this is clearable with a single jump. In which case, if I did this whole thing single jumping, that's... That's ridiculous. Hmm. I have to try and single jump, but... But I can't. You can make a single jump over it, but it's going to be very specific with where it wants me to do that at because this is a well-designed game. Okay. All right. Do you see what I mean? There's just no way, dude. There's just no way. There's just no way. I tried the single jump there. Uh... I want to eat my tendies. Waiting for them to cool off because they're so hot. You gotta, you gotta nuke that shit. I think I found the end of the road, though. I think I found the end of the road. This screen. This is gonna be the next three hours. How long is this game? I actually feel like I've done way more than I was expecting already, but I don't know how much is left. Hmm. I missed it. Okay. Why is this game so freakishly long? Why is it that long? <laughs> but I've beaten four bosses. I've beaten four bosses. The YouTube walkthrough is an hour and 17 minutes long. God damn it.
<clears throat> I'm 17 minutes into it. <laughs> Give me my tender. Give me my fucking tender. Flip him over. Give him a flip. Give him a dip. Give him a taste. Give him a chew. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Tendies. Mmm. Mmm. Nom. Alright. One bite. It's all the energy I need to succeed. Okay. Now what? What comes next? I could have hit the save block. I could have hit the save block. I could have hit the fucking save. Actually, if I hit the save block, I would have been spawned on the spike. I would have been spawned on the spike and it would have been game over. Just didn't put the jump, dude. It's, this is not that complicated. Just input the fucking jump. Why does it not go in? It's not solid. It's not a solid gram. It's not a solid ground. Hmm. <sighs> Break his back. Humble him! Mm. Mm. A new Tuhu animation? Nice. I watched their uh, semi-recent one, a Marissa side job. I like that one. That's cute. I like their animations. They're short and sweet and to the point. And they make good use of their uh, Various like sound effects and assets. Ah, oh, damn it! The worst part about this room right now is just that every time I have the angle, it just doesn't want to. She just doesn't want to double jump. And then I touch nothing and die anyway. I got hit in the fucking toe by that. Do I really want to be the Shrine Maiden that badly? Do I really? I don't know if I do. I don't know. This is, you gotta go through this every time. It's so precise. It's so needlessly precise. It's so good, man. I'm surprised anyone actually gave this game the time of day to beat it. But I guess after you stick with it long enough, you feel stubborn. 
You know what, chat? You might as well send me a link to that full playthrough, because that's what I'm gonna do at the end of the stream, is just watch that. <laughs> we can pretend I beat it like that, and I never have to play this game again. Because I can already promise you, once I am done this stream, there is 0.00000% chance I play this game again. Straight up. <clears throat> Oops. But, you know, I'm invested in the story. I gotta see. I gotta see if Reimu becomes the Shrine Maiden at the end. I forgot what I was doing. And we do more of those absolutely fucking shitty jumps in the middle of the screen. Okay. Alright, I get it. I get it, yep. We're just- it's just more of the same down there. But somehow... not as bad? Could be worse. <clears throat> okay. This is PCB, dog. Forgot which tile I was on when I did that. Hmm. Why is Reimu here? What are we doing, Reimu, in this darkness? I forgot. God damn it, I keep forgetting. Alright, hold that link. I'm gonna need that link later. I'm gonna need that link. Pom pom bottom. I feel like my eyes are starting to turn into Alice Goo. Just a little bit of Alice Goo in my eyeballs, that's all. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to scream. I am going to scream. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Good. <clears throat> more of that. Mmm, yummy. Ow. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. It's good tendy. <clears throat> Give me a moment. I'm gonna collect myself. I'm ready. <clears throat> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready! <laughs> I'm getting there.
Can you believe people speed run these games? Now those are impressive. Can't believe people can speed run these kinds of games. Because some of them are definitely designed around uh, making you have to play them over and over and over and over and over. Until you mauled so hard that your controller is through the wall. Just through the wall, like in the wall. Like you've created a perfect hole indent that's like exactly the shape and size of your controller or keyboard. Because, you know, maybe you're playing one or the other. Actually, you're probably using keyboard. <clears throat> I have Joy to Key set up for this, personally. Good. It's Bashi time. I enjoy Bashi speedruns. They're pretty cool. Bashi speedruns take like 40-something minutes. Granted, they skip a whole segment World 4, but... Hmm. He just wanted to be the guy. Some dude just made a game about a guy wanting to be the guy. And 99% of the player base couldn't get past the first screen to see the rest of the game. But that 1% of weirdos who did get past that 1% of the screen <laughs> went on to <laughs> see the rest of the game. Okay, uh, where's the invisible platforms? Where, where? Help me out here, because I am not trial and erroring this fucking garbage after everything behind me. Where are the invisible platforms? Where am I going? Use the spikes as a base, from the first spike on the left being spike number one. Help me out here, chat, because I have to go down there, and I have to find... I have to find the right spot. I'm not just jumping down there because I'm just gonna die and then I have to do all that over again. I am going to wait. There's nothing in front of me. So I have no idea how to start this. Just gotta wait. Just gonna eat my tenders in the meantime. This is, uh, it's your turn. It's your time to shine, chat. It's your time to shine. Mm. Spikes to the bottom reference. Spike 10. 10. All right, what's next? What's next? I'm being really certain in counting. I'm not, I'm not fucking this up. What's next? Fourth what? Here? This one? The, the center of the... The center of the lights on? Too far to the side. Oh, great. Oh, 
great. Do this again. <clears throat> I should have waited. I saw that the... I saw that the the platform was there and I just went for it and then the spike fell on my head and I wasn't ready for it. It's like what happens when you try to do a follow a step-by-step -step program for installing something and you think, oh, I know what to do. Uh, this next step is obviously the right one. And then you somehow fuck it up. Every time. All right. Okay. I jumped. God damn it. Come on, man. Hmm. I want to be through this room. I want to go to a better room, a better place, a better home. A better world! Oh, I'm dying. What if this is the worst room in the game, and like every room after this is just like piss easy? A man can dream, right? Like a man can dream? Hmm. This one. This one. The, it, the spike's not gonna fall on me, right? Is the spike gonna fall on my head? Now what? Now what? Now what? Leap of faith? You're kidding, right? Where's the save? Where Where's the save? Where the fuck is the save? It better be through the portal.
Too close to the sun, or in this case, the fucking wall. That's fine. Actually, it's not a bad idea to do that. Except I missed. Okay, try again. Right, stay in one place. I fucked up, I missed the platform. Touch the wall. Gotta do a short hop. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't mean to do that. Close to the wall. Okay. Should have went under it.
Had to not miss that jump, really. Hmm. Keep doing that. Stop doing that. I had a feeling that's what was going to happen here. Okay. No. Alright. Hmm, not good. Oi, 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 oi. Hi. Oh, whoops. I gotta stop that.
はーはあおー、ジーズス Why did I do that? I think Ron might be the final boss. Might be this might be the final boss of the whole game. Secret ending unlocked if I just beat Ron. Wouldn't that be great? I'd be pretty happy with that.
I missed. I missed what we were doing. I missed up what I was doing. I didn't couldn't decide what I wanted to do there. And you just short hop rainbow. Bad start. I don't even know how I ended up down there. I thought I was on the elevator and then I was on the ground and I don't know how I got there. Why does she have so much HP?
Short hop. Short hop, please! How much HP does she have? Cause it's clearly way more than, uh, way more than it should be. the goal. Forgot what the goal was going up there. Damn it. Damn, that wasn't very good. Actually thought that was fine there. Yeah. Oh, 
I only have to play this once, so yeah, it's fine. I didn't promise to beat it. Oh. Okay. What if you say please? The... <laughs> You know what talks? Money. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That was a really good opening hand I had. Oh, and I fucking squandered it. Nope. Thank you for the hundred, though. Bad start. Shit start. Hmm. Okay. No, you were the five, but that's... No. <laughs> you see what I'm playing, right? Like, you see... You see the level of shit I'm dealing with, right? This is not... This is, like, not even a quarter of the way through the game yet. And you want me to play more of it?
I at least gotta beat Ron. That's it. I, I gotta beat Ron. bad angle. fast enough. Short hop, Remu. Short hop. No rest for the wicked. Oh, you might be able to kill those fairies up there.
thought you loved me. Who the fuck are you? My tenders. Mmm. 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 That's good. Nope. I'm not done eating. Mmm. Yummy. I hate you. <clears throat> okay. Spin-off game. Okay. Is that Alice's house? World esteemed Alice Megatron's house? No way! I love that chick! The amount of, uh, pressure I feel in my heart. It's, uh, more than any human being probably should feel. Hmm. La bomb. How do I defeat this room? How do I defeat this room? No, that's not what you do. These platforms are so fucking poorly made, poorly programmed, absolute garbage bullshit duty butt butt. I cannot believe what the, the creator is expecting from me. What do you want me to do? Platform on them? Fall through them? It's not good. If you were to tell me that this is a critically acclaimed video game, I would say, you full of shit. You know that? You full of shit. Turn to the Halo main menu theme for a second. Do I go? 
what do I do I go do I go fast do I go do I go back do I oh, I just don't like when the puzzle is just guess asshole at the end of the screen there's so much I gotta do before it I forgot how did I forget that how could anyone possibly forget you get you hit once and that's that's all it's gotta be one and a two and a three I made a mistake. I thought maybe that I would be able to get to the platform in time because I was going so fast. You see how fast I'm going? Like, look, look at this. Whoosh. I wasn't the right platform. I thought, I thought it was, though. Still have tenders. Whoa. That's a new one. That's a new one. That's a new one. Alright. Oh, I forgot. I'm going too fast. He's going so quick. He just wants to be through it. I cannot wait when the timer hits. Dylan doesn't have to play this anymore. That is currently my uh, favorite time of the day. That's currently my favorite time of the day, and I'm very much looking forward to it. It might be the best part of my entire week. It could be the best part of my entire month. Hell, it might be the best time in my entire year. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. You know, that was my own fault for jumping the gun. Like, you know, I didn't really need to go that fast, and I just kind of put myself at a bad spot, and that's how it goes. You... Happens to the worst. Happens to the best of us. Happens to the worst of us. Go ahead. Kill me! Do it. Do it at- Yeah, I- Yeah, I knew it. You ain't clever. You ain't- You ain't funny anymore. It's too easy with you. It's too easy with you to know what you're going for. Cause you- Wait, how do I do that? <laughs> Actually, I don't know how to do that. Chat! Uh... How do I- How do I beat the spike trap? I don't- I can't- I can't out- I can't out- I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I can't outspeed it. Because it's too, uh... It's too close to the wall. Hmm. You see that? It's really close to the wall. I can't really, like... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe it's the wrong way. Nope. No invisible platform. Is this the end of the game? I, I hope so. Is this possibly the end of the game? Huh? What? Okay. Oops, too far back. Oh my god, dude. Wait, you want me to jump in there? You know, I actually thought that that wasn't going to hit me, so I didn't bother moving, but I knew in my heart of hearts it was going to fall. Damn, man. How did I make it the first time? Oh. 
It is even funnier! The 100th time. Who pulled the spatula from the grease? Bro, what the hell is that? What is... Okay. Did I do something wrong? Did I... Is, is my game... Is my game bugged? That's gotta be it, right? In the time between when I last got it and when I fucked it up, my game bugged. It's the only explanation that makes the most sense. Otherwise, like, you know, that would just mean I, I can't... I'm not playing good. And me not playing good? Clearly, there's a problem here. Yeah, fuck you. Where's your uh, Where's your stupid upside down spike now? What in God's name do I do here? Oh, oh, oh! You scared me. You scared me. You already know what's gonna happen, right? Nobody expected this! <laughs> I forgot the feeling does that again. Alright. Okay. Okay. If I was to ever play the second game, the sec if I was gonna play the second game, it would be another sub goal. I'm not finishing this fucking game. There's no chance. But I'm playing it for as long as I promised. Which actually, I might cut short in favor of watching the video of someone else doing it. Kill me. Oh! 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 Where are the bullets coming from? I don't know, you tell me. Oh my. Hmm. No, I'm not trying to beat it. I I knew I knew immediately that I was this is not a game that I was going to beat. And I said, you know, if I do make it far enough, then maybe I'll try and beat it, but I am not even like I'm like a third into the game. And the game just keeps doing this, and I cannot stand this. I okay. Okay. Oh my god. I'm good, I'm good, I'm alright. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me, I'm perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong going on here. It's only the greatest level you've ever seen. I'd just like to personally congratulate the person who made this game. Just shake their hand. Give them, give them, a, give them a nice, like, trophy that I bought at the dollar store and... I'll make sure to take a shit in it first, of course, because, you know, professionals have standards. And I'll give it to them for, you know, the world's shittiest game ever created. And it will be a very heartfelt message to Mr. Creator, wherever he may be. God rest his soul. I don't know where he is, but I'm sure his, uh, game development, uh, <laughs> his game development days are dead in the water. You know, that's just not right, dude. <clears throat> it's fine, I don't actually care who the dev is. I'm just venting my frustrations. <laughs> I do think this game is a hot, steamy pile of garbage, though.
that 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 much uh, that much I am a certain of. You know how in uh, American Dad, you know how Roger, when he shits, he shits out gold, uh, gold jewel encrusted uh, turds. That's that's what you need to polish your game to be. You need to, okay. They say a polished turd is still a turd, but when your turd is gold and covered in diamonds, it's a little different, you know. I hate you! I hate you so much! Why do you do things like this? You want people to play your game or what? Like, you can't keep doing that! Every single time I get to the end, I get hit by some shit like that! It doesn't stop! Why doesn't it stop? It just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going and going. All right. Hmm. I forgot there was a platform there. Damn it. Slow to set? My guy, it's been three and a half hours. <laughs> it ain't slow anymore. I've already... I've already... My brain... See, my brain has oozed out of my ear and it's been replaced by Alice Goo. That's it. My brain is now nothing but Alice Goo. I missed that jump. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. Eventually, I will die the same way so many times that it becomes humanly impossible for me to do it again. I forgot that was there. What is this Alice goo? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's the only thing that's gonna be, uh, gonna survive the stream. I just can't believe you would start me on a screen like that, you know? I forgot again. I got a question. For those of you that actually play these kinds of games, uh, do they all use an egregious amount of these blocks that I'm using here? Like, is this just common in these games for these kinds of blocks? To be on every fucking screen? Or is this just like, uh, is this just this game? Hmm. Okay. Ow. Mm -mm. God damn it. <clears throat> you can't get much more trial and error than invisible blocks. Especially when the only way to properly see where they are is to look at where you died. And watch your blood splatter all over the fucking place. Don't worry, I'm learning. He's a creature of instinct. He learns... My re what is that? My. Whoops. Thought I saw a creature at my foot. Okay. <clears throat> oh, man. God. Again! Again! Goddamn rat. It just can't be right. It just can't be good. 
I am gonna get hit by that every time. I just can't trust the jump. I can't drive 55. I was so certain that was gonna hit me that I, I prematurely restarted and it didn't hit me and then I could do nothing but look. But you don't understand why I'm doing the way I'm doing. You're doing the things you do. You do. You doing. You doing. You doing well. You doing right. Doing well. Do you do them at all? That was a bad idea. Okay. Yep. That's a new one. <clears throat> You ever heard the term artificial difficulty? The term refers to when things are difficult for very silly reasons. And it's not really a measure of skill whether or not you can complete them. a Mega Man, for example. What makes a fun Mega Man level? Alright, think about everything that makes a Mega Man level fun, engaging, and challenging, and then make sure to not include any of it in your game. Alright, make sure, make sure, you know, every level's gotta have some kind of shit to it that makes it borderline unplayable. I don't even know what just happened. I the screen did the thing. Yep. Huh. Uh, no, this is less of a Toho fan game and more of a uh, I want to be the guy fan game. But I'm playing this one because this one has uh, Tuhus in the name. You know, gotta keep the brand. Bro, I just- there's no indication where the fucking block is, unless I die, and then I see what the block is. Up shit's creek without a paddle! Three hours later. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Oh. There's a lot of these in existence. I know that much. But I've never played any of them. You just don't know until you die, and then you see the platform, and then you can try again. But you gotta go through everything else first, because that's what, that's what the game wants me to do. That was an accident. Hmm. Hmm. 
Badam. Badam, badam. I got all the way to the end of the invisible maze, and I got killed by a sideways spike. You know what that costs for? It costs for a little bit of a tendy. Yeah, just a little one. Put it in my mouth. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Done. Maybe I'll have another one. How about that? Mmm. Okay. Try that. Um, quick question. How long is the how long was the video of this game being beaten? Did you say it was an hour and seventeen minutes? Or an hour and seven minutes? How long was it? Hour and seventeen? Alright. You give me Um You give me like 30 more minutes, and then I'm just going to put that on. Alright. Sound good? 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. No, I want to watch the whole game in full. If he beats it in one shot, I want to see all of it. Alright, I want to see him be cracked at it. i got to fill the time slot. Time to become a React streamer. Mmm. Mmm, good time you. Yum, 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 yum. It's not one shot. What? Oh. Whatever. Still gotta fill the time slot. When your content is dry, find others and watch. I tried to find a word that rhymes with dry. Couldn't think of time. You know how it goes, chat. When you're when you're starved for content and you can't think of anything to do that's remotely interesting, just watch somebody else who made interesting content. <clears throat> that's uh that's the content creator game. I missed it. <clears throat> Thank you, Pony, for the fits. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't regret what I've done. But this game is definitely... This game is definitely painful. But I'm actually pretty impressed with how well I've been able to play it so far, all things considered. Jump on the odd one out to proceed. The fuck does that mean? The hell? Ew. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. That's what it means to be a big content creator, is you go on the just chatting. You go on the just chatting section and you watch YouTube videos. I 
I see what it means now. I know what it wants. I know what it wants me to do. Do I... Do I want to do what it wants me to do? We'll see. Jump, Remu. You need to jump. Jump, Remu. Jump, jump, slide, slide, jump, jump, slide, slide, jump, jump. Oh, that's not supposed to be happening. I can't get off that in time, it seems. Oh my god! These blocks are terribly programmed. <laughs> They're, they're absolute dog shit. They don't even work the way they're supposed to. Because you fall through them. They're not even solid. You just fall through them. Oh my god. And then I couldn't jump off that one because I was falling with it. with the wapow. Come on. I know you want to. And of course it turns into a block maze. What do you want me to do? Chat! Chat? What What now? How do I... Do I just hold forward? Oh. That's so fucking great. Yeah. I touched it. I touched it. Now I go back, I guess. I can't believe that's what killed me. Touch, 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 touch. Touch.
You gonna kill me? No? Amazing. Yomu, 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 yomu. Yomu, you're like going really fast. Yomu, you're going like really fast. Like you're going really, really fast. I don't think... I don't think I can do this. Is it, is it a timeout? No, she hit, get hit. Hmm. hmm, I don't know about this. Seems kind of, kind of not good. I don't know, this seems pretty not good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think this is probably the end of the line. <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm probably, yeah. To compensate her HP is probably very low. You know what? I want to believe that as much as everybody else does, but I somehow don't think that's the case. I actually believe she has more HP than Ron because she is a boss who's further up. This is good. All right, chat. I'm giving this five more seconds and it's over. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I I can't beat that. I can't beat that. I don't know what that's, that is or what's going on with that, but I have no desire to even really try. But it's okay. We'll take that four hours to the bank. Get me the fuck out of this video game. Thank you. All right. Hit me up with that video. Ga -ba 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 -ba. Let's check it out. We're going to watch it. We're going to watch it, chat. It's a full I want to be the Shrine Maiden walkthrough. It's by Retro Day. Not very many people seem to know that this game even exists for the better. I appreciate this. All right. You're going to see it here. Ready? Let me get the capture. We're going to we're gonna sit here and we're going to enjoy it together, chat. So the quality, as you can tell, is very high. And there's nothing I can do about it. So let's just sit back and enjoy the ride. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, yes. You hear that? Mmm. The unregistered Hypercam 2 levels of quality, audio quality. Oh, oh, that's so good. All right, let's just sit back and enjoy. I'm going to eat some snacks. I'm going to watch the video game or play the video game. So, yeah, uh, there you go, chat. That's the most I can get you out of that one. I tried my best. Uh, I did pretty well, but I have no sweet clue what the fuck Yomu was expecting from me, but it can't be something I'm able to do. Hmm... Should I turn it up? Chat, should I turn it up? Let me turn it up. How's that? Better? Can you hear it? In all its crusty glory? Mmm, <clears throat> that's good. So I'm no longer playing the game. You know, I'll say that every now and again, I suppose. I'm currently watching someone else do it. <clears throat> in the meantime, I can do literally anything else, like eat this tender. Eating this tender is good. <clears throat> so, Chad, I was thinking, uh, it's a bit of a weird conversation, but how much do we know about the Horde Elixir? Someone want to inform me? I'm like, uh, hold on. I'll talk when I'm done eating. Hmm. 
So what do we know about the whole eye elixir, right? What specifically does it do? It, uh... It turns, makes you immortal, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, stop. Ah. Uh, hmm. There are steps. Right? Like... When you drink, uh... When you drink one, or like one drink of it, it makes you immune to illness, right? Uh... Second drink of it preserves your, uh, your youthful appearance. I think. And then the third, uh... And then the third, uh, the third drink makes you a true immortal. With all the benefits of one and two, of course. Obviously, because you're fucking immortal. What am I saying? <clears throat> Bless the hero that beat this game, because it wasn't going to be me. <clears throat> so, I don't know what the original story is with the Horde I like, so maybe somebody can look that up if they want to. But, um, that's fine. It happens to the best of us, champ. Just keep on. But what I know about the Horde Elixir, if you consume the liver of somebody who has in, uh, taken the Horde Elixir, you gain its effects. So, like, the Horde Elixir is within their body. Oh, I want to see how he does this. You're going the top route? You're ma Okay, never mind. Okay, the way he's doing this is way better than the way I did it. The way I did it was mad crusty. <laughs> But it worked, so it's okay. Damn, I remember when this was the hardest thing in the game. Fuck, I miss those days. Those were good days. Oi, oi, does they? All right. Nice. Well done. And now we get to wait 45 seconds because why wouldn't you? <clears throat> uh, so chat. If you eat someone, if you eat someone who's ingested the elixir's uh, liver, you gain the the effects of it, right? The Holy Elixir is a forbidden medicine that should never be consumed by humans. With a single touch, you will never become an adult. With a second touch, you will forget all disease and illness. So, okay, so I had that backwards, but it was correct, right? <clears throat> mm. Um. So, how does the Holy Elixir stay within one's body? And the question I have is, is it something that can be passed down to a child? Now, the... The screen seems to be frozen. It's weird. Like, if you can consume their liver and gain its effects, wouldn't it stand to reason that if also, if Moko or Erkagri or even Eden had a child, wouldn't they be affected by it as well? But how would that work if you were a Babu? If you were a Babu and you had the, the elixir, would you just remain Babu form forever? How does that, like, how does it work? That's my question. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, the third, the third uh, drink is immortality. I remember that. Yeah, Moko's idea of it is a little, you know, less than great because, well, she doesn't like. She she considers it a curse, right? Not a a blessing or anything like that. <clears throat> I am not playing the second one. <laughs> yeah, he stopped in. <laughs> he stopped in earlier. Yes, and he mentioned it. I only played this because it was a sub goal. I didn't make no promise of beating it. That's why uh, that's why I'm currently watching somebody else do it because I made it as far as I could in four hours and Yomu is, uh, I'm not touching that. I'm done, I'm good. I did my best. And now we're gonna see what this game truly entails because I'm sure everybody's dying to know how this game finishes. I have to see how much worse it gets from Yomu. I really, really do. I have to know. If I don't figure it out, We'll never know. Hi ho, the misery. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, those are those are the intrusive thoughts that kept me up at night. If you were wondering, sometimes I think about characters just because they come to my mind and I can't sleep, so I think hard about them, and then they they you know they make me ask questions that I can't sleep I I, I can't sleep again. So this was pretty bad. Uh, this room was pretty bad because you just walk over here and it's completely invisible and you're just supposed to uh, figure it out, I guess. 
Yep. 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 Hmm. Well, the thing is, the, it's not so much that I care that, like, the liver grants you the effects of the elixir, even though I think it's kind of weird, but it's more so the idea that the elixir remains within the, the, the consumer's body, right? Like, the elixir remains within them, so would it be possible for that to be passed down? Kind of deal. And you know what, chat? Now, how does the how does the Hordai elixir prevent you from dying? That's the question, right? How does it prevent you from dying? Is it like cell, where you just regenerate from you regenerate from nothing? Do you truly regenerate from nothing though? Because, I mean, if cell is anything to go by, and Mitty from uh, oh there it is, Alice Goo, here it comes. Wiki says in her conversation with Mooko, Alice Margatroyd points that her soul is made invincible, forcing them to live out their existence forever. Immortality unties the soul from the physical body, which is just recreated as necessary. Although the subject still retains the bodily sensations and functions, and one is separated from the cycle of life and death. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. That would explain it, because I was going to say, like, the way, like, Cell and Mitty were taken out was they were completely shredded. Like, all they were vaporized. Their atoms were no more. Goddamn, dude. Their atoms were no more, so they had nothing they could regenerate from. But if, if, uh, if the case for Moko is that it's just simply that her spirit can never disappear and will always be able to reconstruct a body, that's kind of horrifying. That's a pretty horrifying thought. That is true immortality, huh? So the only way to effectively kill Moko, or I guess Kaguya as well, is to somehow, uh, somehow attack the spirit directly. But like, somehow I don't think that's gonna work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, do it, oh yeah, give him that! Yeah, look at that, let's go! Alright, this was an easy boss, cause you just, uh, you know, very easy boss. Look at that gamer. Look at that jump. Damn. Yeah, and then you just get killed. You just get killed. You get to do this two screens of Mario, some rapping, some, you know, disc jockeying. There's no puzzle element here at all. It just kills you at the start of the spawn. And then you go on to EOSD, the Scarlet Devil. Marissa. Moko will live forever. Yes, forever means forever. As long as nothing can destroy her spirit, she will continue to survive. Her body will be reconstructed and all of its functions. Which means, you know, if she's around during the heat death of the universe and she goes to the old space dome, she, her head's gonna pop and she'll be like, ah, oh, fuck. And then she'll come back to life and her head's gonna pop and she'll be like, ah, oh, fuck. And then she's gonna come back to life. And you know, it's just uh, a very lovely idea. The thought that without a proper, without a proper space suit, she just, you know, pop, pop, pop. But she'll probably be prepared for the, you know, who knows. Maybe the heat death of the universe is enough to destroy her spirit. Because it will take everything out. I have no idea. Who, who can say? Your guess is as good as mine. But when we say, like, they said, tr they say it's true immortality for her, right? True immortality. She can't figure out a way to die even though she's been trying. So surely that's, it's gotta be the case. True immortality, you know, asterisk, uh, side, uh, you know, with the exception of kind of deal. I, I don't think it's like that, though. I think that was genius. That was genius. That was so big brain. He knows. Oh yeah. Will the heat death of the universe ever hit against Sokyo? Why wouldn't it? Why 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 wouldn't it? That's the same sun that we get that against Sokyo gets. If the planet blew up, against Sokyo would probably be affected by it, don't you think? <laughs> Kaboom! And Sokyo is located parallel to Earth in a certain location. So it's there. We receive the same benefits. I say we, like I live there. Yep. <clears throat> the world of Tuhu. Mm. The, the outside world of Tuhu is parallel to ours. Minus, of course, the fact that Toho is real. Or maybe it is real, who knows? Uh, highly doubt it. But, aside from that, like, basically any character from the outside world is not real. But everybody else who's not part of Tuhu is, like, real in the outside world. So, in a weird way, chat, 
in a weird way, you exist in the Tuhu universe, in the outside world portion, but you will never show up, because the moment you show up and become an important character, you're no longer, you're no longer real. You see how that paradox works? As soon as you become acquainted with Tuhu, you're no longer a real human being, but as long as you don't show up in any capacity, the idea that you are in the outside world is still there. Isn't that fun? Isn't that a fun thought experiment? You having fun thinking about that? Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. Crunch. You wanna meet Riggle? Nobody wants to meet Riggle. Shut up. None of those characters. Well, actually some of them, some of them would be fine. Most of the characters, if not every character I like, poses a danger to myself and others. And probably themselves. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta choose your friends wisely, you know? You can't just walk up to any other character and be like, Hello, I am John Tuhu. Which, I mean, I guess if you were John Tuhu, you'd be... You'd be set for life, but you're not John Tuhu, alright? You're John Everyman. That's all. You're just John Everyman. That's all it is. This is Patchouli spell background, right? The weird, like, mosaic glass. I don't even know if mosaic's the right word for this. Stained glass, I think, was the word I was looking for. God, these blocks fucking suck, dude. Good job. I did it. Alright, Flandre fight. Look how quickly he's getting there. Hmm. <clears throat> well, heat death is when everything is destroyed, yes, but I said heat death in relation to just the idea of the earth going kaboom. We will, uh, everything will return to monkey. And we'll start all over again. Big Bang 2, Electric Boogaloo. What a fun thought experiment. Think about how the world is just gonna... Billions and billions of years from now. It's just gonna be like... Goodbye. Ain't that interesting? Nothing becomes something. Something returns to nothing. Hooray! I'm having fun! Hmm. Hmm. We'll always have big rigs, though. Oh, that's a shame. We'll always have big rigs, all right? Doesn't matter where the planet goes. Big rigs are eternal. Hmm. It's time to become cold. Who knows? Who knows? I promise you, chat. You're not going to be alive to see it. <laughs> None of us are. So there's no use really thinking about it. That is somebody else's problem, all right? Man, this fight really wasn't that bad, huh? But the fight after this was Ron. That one was pretty bad. Yukari was easy. And then Yomu, I, I gave up. <clears throat> I quit. Mm -mm. Don't hit me with a... You're gonna find a green mushroom and bring me back? Man, the concept of extra lives in video games applied to actual universe is really fucking weird, huh? Huh. Like... Like, what happens when Mario and, and Luigi, you know... How does the 1-Up work? The 1-Up brings them back to life, yeah? The 1-Up brings them back to life, but what happens if they, they grow old? They grow old and they become they become the dead, and then do they just get uh, do they just extra life? How's that work? Or is the extra life just like create a homunculus? Is that what it is? Has the real Mario been dead all this time? Wait, what about he going? The real Mario has been dead the whole time, and every single one up mushroom is just a homunculus. Oh, that's what you were supposed to do. Oh, that makes more sense than what I did. Whatever. I guess they can choose if they want to come back. Doesn't that make it even more morbid, though? That just kind of makes it more morbid. Luigi, it's time to go! We gotta go! And everybody's gone. But it's never that simple. Up, up, up! Yep. The green mushroom is like, oh, it's like the toll. Oh. <laughs> I guess the Mushroom Kingdom's form of death loves green mushrooms. Ain't that some shit. 
You know, I like when games have their one-ups be like something silly like that. Like, you know, I mean, there's a green mushroom. Hmm. Like, uh, like Banjo has the statues. Uh, DK64 doesn't actually have extra lives. Mario has, like, Mario has the, uh, Mario has the green mushrooms. So, wait a minute, does that mean in the Sonic universe, Death is just a huge, like, Sonic fan? Because, like, oh, here's the, chat, it's the fucking room. So, like, when so Sonic's one-ups are just his face, right? Do you think he just gives autographed pictures of his face to Death? He's like, wow! And then, uh, Death's like, oh, we chill. Alright, and then, you know, send Sonic back on his way. You think that's what it is? Because, like... How else does that work? His Sonic's one-ups are very lazy. They're just his face. Maybe the Grim Reaper sells them to weirdos. He makes like a killing off of Sonic. Literally a killing off of him. He just, as long as Sonic, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. I wonder about that, you know? Super Paper Mario does have an afterlife. Yeah, that's correct. The uh, the under there. And the, oh, and the, that was a interesting place. I like uh, when you jump off the boat and there's these gross grabby hands and the music changes and it's like, ah, yes, I'm horrified. Oh, that motherfucker's counting spikes. Ah, <laughs> that's exactly what I did. Yep, exactly what I did. I was counting them. Honger's bad for a day in its remake when Conker dies the first time. He'll take him to the underworld and meet Greg the Grim Reaper. Greg tells him that he is a special case as he is a red squirrel, meaning he's able to live. If he picks up squirrel tails, which give him more chances as he collects more. Oh, I see. Are you ready, Raymu? Alright, uh, here's the shitty Ron fight. Okay. Extra lives are just bribery to uh, the god of death of the game of the of any given games universe, huh? Well, then what about Tuhu? Well, I mean, Tuhu, you don't really die, right? You just get hit, and I guess you get back up. Like. Cherno is the most interesting for that because in in Cherno's game in Great Fairy Wars, uh, lives are tied to motivation. So when Cherno gets shot down enough times, she just gets mad and stops playing, which is pretty fucking believable when you think about it. So like when when Cherno's motivation dips below the a uh, hundred percent and she gets hit, she's like, "Fuck this! I don't want to play anymore." Uh, she's she makes a wiser choice than most of us. That's for sure. But for every other character, it's like you gotta collect lives, right? Extends. How's it work? How's it work? Like, does Raymu just- does Raymu just get mad when she runs out of lives and she just goes home? She's like, ah, whatever, just dumb. Dumb stupid! It makes sense for fairies, because fairies don't actually die. Fairies always come back after a certain amount of time. But when you play by the same rules as the human characters, obviously Danmaku is not designed to be lethal. It can still hurt people. I mean, it can kill Moko, because Moko, I guess, is fucking frail as glass or something. Like, seriously, Moko straight up dies every single spell card <laughs> when you when you take her out. She dies. She just keeps coming back to show off the fact that she's immortal. She's the only character I'm aware of that, like, actually properly dies to uh, Danmaku. Unless you count, like, the weird spirit enemies and whatnot. Because, like, the only living creatures that you fight in the stages are fairies, right? And the fairies always come back, but then the mid-bosses and such aren't really- aren't, they aren't fairies. I guess there's the ghosts. What about the ghosts? When those- when those get shot down, do they just explode? I wonder. Hmm. This, uh, this fight is going exactly as I expected it to, because this fight is really boring. He's dead, by the way. Hmm, Kaguya dies for final last words. I think she does. Like, she, like, disappears and comes back, but you can't actually shoot her. You just, like, I don't really know how that one works. Does she just, like, blip five times and die? Because she definitely, like, explodes each spell card, but then she comes back and does another one, and she has five of them, right? Man, this is just great. How much time has passed? 21 minutes in here. Okay. All right. Yiko, Yiko popped. Yiko's final is actually not Yiko, but also it is Yiko. Like, it's kind of not really clear. But when Yiko, when you shoot down the Yiko's final, she's gone. But then the tree awakens in that moment, 
and the spirit of Yiko, which is, you know, that's a really weird thing to say because she's already a ghost. But that's why the thing that comes out is like a bas basically a ghostly version, which is also weird to say for Yiko. Oh, that's a problem. Always good. The, 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 the spirit that was under the tree comes out for one spell card, an annoying ass one minute timeout, and then you do it, and then it explodes, and the power, the tree's power then pretty much just, you know, ploops out, it fades away. But I don't think a lot of people even realize that what the, the circumstances around that final are, because I certainly didn't the first time around. He's dead again, by the way. Dude, this this boss fight fucking sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It's okay, I understand. I, I fully understand. I fully understand. This, this boss fight was pretty rough. Can't wait till he gets to Yomo. I gotta see how he beats that, because that fight was looked impossible. This one at least felt, like, possible to me. But Yomu, I... Nope. Uh -uh. I gave up on that one pretty fast. No chance I was doing that. Ghost of a ghost. Well, that's why... That's also why when you like, when you beat Yuko and you finish PCB, she's like, Yeah, I'm good. Like, she doesn't care about the tree anymore. I assume it's because she saw what was under there. But at the same time, Yuko can't really... Yuko doesn't know what's under the tree. She wanted to know, and I'm honestly unsure if she actually figured out the truth of the matter or not. Because in Toho, something about Toho is with ghosts, is that ghosts don't realize they're dead until they, like, you know, see their body. Which, now, I'm pretty sure Yiko knew, knows she's a ghost. But most ghosts, like regular ghosts, don't realize they're dead. But if they see their body, sometimes they kind of, like, you know, they kind of snap. They kind of have a breakdown. Because, you know, that's kind of a surreal thing to look at your corpse, right? So when ghosts see their, their bodies, they're at risk of, like, just deteriorating and becoming mad. So I guess, in, like, they could also just disappear as well. That's another thing. They might just disappear. So there's a lot of, oh, no. But what about Yiko? Yiko knows what she is. Is she aware of the situation with the tree? I assume she has to be because she just called off the whole operation after that whole fiasco happened. But I don't know for sure. I don't remember if it was explicitly stated in anywhere that she knew. Because Yiko is the kind of character who never really talks in a way that just, uh, you know, shows what she feels. Yep, he's dead again. Hmm... <laughs> Well, you can't die a second time, right? I mean, I guess in Dragon Ball Z, Boo fucking invades the other world, and if he kills you in the other world, you just cease to exist, which makes no fucking sense, but, you know, it's the Boo saga, and Toriyama was, you know, he basically got to do whatever he wanted for that one, and he shows. Almost dead. But in Toa's case, like, a ghost can be exercised, right? But when they're exercised, what happens to them? Are they just sent away, or are they actually just like, uh, like, uh, like Thanos, like pulped, pulp city? I guess that's technically dying, right? They cease to be, they cease to, uh, cease to exist anymore. But you're supposed to be in the the spirit, the the spirit form, and you're supposed to like follow the, you know, follow the rules. But not all spirits can like. What happens to the spirits that fall into the river? Or Komachi pushes them off because she's feeling a little bit funny today. What a what a practical joker that Komachi is. Just pushing people into the pushing people into the, the Sanzu River. What happens then? Your spirit is just lost forever, right? I mean in Death Note, if you use the Death Note, your spirit can not, no longer go to heaven or hell. You're just stuck in limbo. Which I don't even know what that means. I don't think anyone knows what that means. But whatever. Hmm. Raymo almost died. She ate a moldy rice, uh, like, a moldy rice, uh, bean cake or something like that. And she, her ghostly visage showed up at the Sanzu River and caused a huge stir. So then when everybody went to her, her house and she was, like, dying of food poison because Raymo was a fucking idiot sometimes. <laughs> she straight up almost died to eating moldy food. Now, I don't know what's more impressive about that. That, like, she nearly died to it? That she didn't, like, look at the mold and think, maybe I shouldn't? Like, everything around that entire situation 
Just, it's wacky, because I just can't imagine any actual human being would ever look at something with enough mold to be, like, you know, lethal, and think, yeah, yeah, that's no, probably still good. That just, that kind of just speaks a lot about Rainbow's financial situation. Huh. This is, uh, this is the dirt eater, we, after all. We say a lot of th mean things about Reimu, that she likes to eat dirt, she eats grass, she eats anything she can get her hands on, and, you know, you want to argue that that's not true, but... She legitimately ate a moldy rice, like, uh, bean cake that nearly killed her. So yeah, her eating dirt isn't completely out of the realm of believability to me anymore. Not after that stunt. Do I think Reimu would eat dirt? Maybe. Do I think Reimu is a connoisseur of dirt? No. I don't think anyone is a connoisseur of dirt. You don't eat dirt because you like it. You eat dirt because you have nothing else to eat. That's all. So maybe Reimu has eaten dirt, and, 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 you know, maybe. You can't, like, deny the possibility. That might kill him. Oh my god, that's grazing right there. Reimu's always trying to get money because Reimu's always broke. And then when Reimu gets money, she usually takes it too far, and it results in her losing all the money she got her hands on. And then she's broke again. He did it, he won. He did it. Ba -ba bang Could you imagine if Yukari just instant killed you? Like, like quick killed you when you spawned in? How stupid that would be? This boss is like painfully easy though. <laughs> mm. Rainbow doesn't care about people. According to her Omake stuff, she seems pretty indifferent to the existence of both humans and yokai. So, you know. That's not to say she's a bad person. Or she's not, like, human, but, like, it seems like she treats humans and yokai fairly equally in terms of how indifferent she is to their their problems. But she has her friends, and she has her moments. She's not, like, completely heartless. There's a weird sense of equality in the way she treats others. In that she treats everyone equally as bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, this is awful to look at. I thought you loved me. But I hate you. All right, chat. We're coming up on new content soon. New content. New content. New content. New content. New content. Hmm. Raymo has a lot of different faces. The fa the many faces of Raymo. Oh, that's a shame. But I like you know I like the Raymo. Also, I didn't realize it was a block there. I've been dodging it every time. I like every face of Reimu, because at the end of the day, they are all Reimu. Okay. Her shrine is infested with yokai, because when she goes out and resolves incidents, she gains their respect by with her strength and her attitude. So they visit the shrine frequently. And then, you know, that just kind of ends up what's happening. And then she... She loses, uh... She loses human visitors, because, one, her shrine's kind of out of the way anyway. And two, there's always yokai hanging around there because the yokai like Reimu. And she doesn't really like that because the humans don't want any part of it. And then fast forward to El Morioia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was such a fucking smart maneuver. Why didn't I do that? <laughs> Whatever. The Moria Shrine shows up. They got two gods. They sit at the top of a mountain and they like promise protection from yokai. And they're not like stalked by yokai. So they get a lot more traffic than Reimu, even though they're at the top of the mountain. And then, of course, they get the... They get the cable car. They get the shenanigans. Oh, that's such a shame. They get the shenanigans going on with the Tengu and the, the Kappa, so they get... The, the Yokai get an equal amount of fear, and they get faith, so... It's actually kind of dirty, but it is what it is. You know, I find it interesting how much of a schemer Kaneko is to... for her betterment, right? And even in the in 18, for example, it seems that Sanai was not made aware of any of the dealings that was happening during 18. And it, in the ending, it made Sanai kind of like, you know, made her kind of upset and questioning. Because Kanako always seems to be doing shit uh, behind her back. But then you see, like, any single fan PV from back when Mountain of Faith was uh, relatively new. And it's always about how, oh, Sanai is, you know... Sanai is, uh, only knows Kaneko and Suiko, and they're, like, they're the closest friends, and they get along so well, and they care for each other so much, and then at 18, it's like, wow, Kaneko didn't tell me any of this. That's kind of bullshit. 
So, you know, don't get me wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like I like the idea that Sanai, like, you know, she can rely, look to the two gods she follows as uh, very influential figures to, to her. And they all get along and they all love each other and it's all nice. But then 18 is just like, yeah, Kaneko's a fucking schemer. And she does things even without informing Sanai for whatever reason. Sanai didn't like that. So I have to wonder, like, you know, I just gotta wonder what was, uh, what's going on there? What's happening? Is Kaneko gonna, is Kaneko gonna do something that upsets Sanai? And Sanai's just gonna be like, that's it! I've had enough! And then she's out of there? What if, uh, what if, what if, what if Sanai stops... What if Sanai ends up working for Reimu? I mean, that'll never happen. That'll never happen. Oh, I see. But just you know, we get a we get a little family feud moment between with the with the uh, the Olmorias because Kanako's behavior is not Kanako's behavior is not uh, liked by Sanai and Sanai you know she throws uh, I hate you mom and then she runs away to Reimu Shrine and she offers to work for Reimu for like pennies and Reimu's like did someone say pennies and then Reimu continues to do exactly what she's always done and Sanai does all the work and it's we're having a great episode all right here we go yep <laughs> all right are you having good time how the fuck do you get around this? Oh, that's how. Well, now what do you do? No, I don't think Kaneko's evil. I just think Kaneko goes a little bit too far in the interest of preserving her, her, like, her status, her faith. Now, obviously, she's probably pretty afraid to die because she came close to it. And, you know, the, the move to Gensokyo was a last-ditch effort to, like, you know, stay alive. So, I believe Kaneko is a little afraid of that, which is why she often gets involved with so many things to help secure her position. Whereas, as we know with Suiko, Suiko is actually ready to go. But Suiko is just along for the ride because it seemed interesting. So, to Suiko, everything that's happening is just one last thing to do before she, uh... She, you know, moves on. But in Kaneko's case, it's different. And it's never really explicitly mentioned what Kaneko feels about the way things are going. But I have to imagine, to take such, uh, drastic measures, and to put so much effort into every scheme that she does, she's probably pretty, uh... I wouldn't say she's driven by fear of, uh, fear of being forgotten or anything like that, but it's obvious that she cares pretty heavily about not disappearing. Excuse me, Yomu just stole Reimu. Did you see that? <laughs> Yomu just fucking stole her. <laughs> hmm. Well, the thing about gods is... Gods... Gods get... Like, they exist by faith, whereas yokai exist by fear. If humans no longer fear yokai, yokai cease to exist. That's why Gensokyo exists in the first place. Because humans were no longer fearing... Yokai, so their existence was waning. Uh, similarly, with uh, gods, if people stop believing in gods, their existence also fades away. And as you know, in modern times, because out the outside world in Toho is reflects is reflective of our actual society. Things like yokai and whatnot, they're not truly believed in anymore. And things like gods as well are also not believed in. Oh, Yoma was not very strong. Okay, so that's oh. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I dodged a fucking bullet, man. This is making my eyes hurt. <laughs> yep, it's just more of the same stupid shit. Look at that Ronald. Uh, is that Ronald gonna explode? That spike's gonna... Oh, <gasps> no. No. Run, lad. He's coming. Don't do it, Ron, lad. Don't do it. Fingor. No! That big Ronald's coming. I wasn't beating Yomu, no. But this background is atrocious on my eyes. It's so red. Like, I'm already seeing red from playing the game in general. 
But I didn't need this background. Ugh. Oh, my eyes. Oh. Hmm. I mean, this was, you know, Ronald McDonald insanity. <laughs> oh god, I hate this so much. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so fucking bad. But the song, however, is a bop. Mmm. Mmm, it's a bop. <laughs> All right. The things that make the outside world the outside world are better kept. Oh, you can't even see the blood splatters because of the red background. The things that make Gensokia or the, the outside world, you know, like Gensokia doesn't really need them or want them. Outside world technology is obviously very interesting to, uh, to the Gensokia people. But at the same time, the outside world technology can be a danger to them. When you look at Gensokyo, all I can think about how how great it would be to return to Monkey. That's all, because the time the time period that Gensokyo takes place in is essentially accurate to a Japanese countryside, because it is. It's it's a very rural location, and uh, it, in my my opinion, that's my favorite like setting for anything. It's just you know a relaxing countryside like that. So to me, Gensokyo looks amazing. Even though, you know, I'd be without a lot of the, uh, I'd be uh, without a lot of the things that I use in my average, my daily life, of course, but somehow I think that's fine to trade off everything else that you gotta deal with. This is still looking great, by the way. He did it. He's the best. Now fight Ronald. Alright, now we're going to Imperishable Night. Yep. Isn't this just great? There's so many of those blocks. Oh, that's bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? What is he doing? Oh, he's a genius. Is this stay dead? This is... This is what is this, dude? What is this? Okay, well, at least it died. Alright. Hmm. There's a surprisingly large amount of Ron Lad mixes that exist. But it's hard to find them. I like, uh... I like the one that's a mix of Patchy's theme. I don't know what it's called, though. Hmm. Wow, we're... Oh, I felt that one. Bro, I fucking felt that one. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this game never got any better as it went on, huh? It's a good game.
No, this isn't a first playthrough, no. They, they've definitely been through this shit show before. Oh, what a jump. Alright. Now I sit. And now I wait. And now I sit. And now I wait. Pop. Tune in for Toho 19, where the next incident that happens is Okina introduces Gensokyo to a new, uh, a new element. And then everyone's like, yo, I gotta get me that new element. And then Okina trains somebody to, you know, fight the person who wants the new element. And Okina's like, what did we learn today, children? That new element is bad. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's what we learned. Oh my god, that fairy just came from off screen. Did you see that bullshit? No, n no, no sane human being plays past the screen. Your last strain of sanity will get you to the screen, but as soon as you get jumped by an enemy who appears from off screen, that's that's when the game's over, in my opinion. That's the worst idea I've ever seen. Well, sometimes it feels like Okina is being used as a device to, like, you know, uh, like, to teach me a lesson or something. Like, Zun uses her as a vehicle to be, like, thing bad. And, like, you're right, Zun. Thing is bad. Especially when you subject your entire, uh, the entire country to it. So they can all know how bad it is. Because that's what 17.5 is. It's Okina subjecting Gensokyo to petroleum. Watching everybody go blah, 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 about petroleum, raising Flandre up uh, from the crypt to fight the petroleum gobbler. He just fucking died. He fucking died to an off-screen enemy. Do you understand how painful that is? Look what it, we have to sit here for the whole thing again. <laughs> so anyway. So the petroleum thing happens, you know, and then uh, Yuma gets her ass beat. Uh, Flandre makes a friend. Maybe. And Okina's like, you see, that's why petroleum bad. And it's like, thanks, Zen, for telling me that petroleum is a bad thing. I really needed a whole game around that. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take that game around that because it gave me Yuma, and I like Yuma, so I'll take it. But no, it's just sometimes it feels like Okina, the, the way Okina does things is very uh, annoying in the sense that it, it feels like I'm being taught a lesson, but I'm also being forced to deal with the lesson. Like, have you ever- chat, have you ever played a game that gave you an option to, like, do good thing or do bad thing? And then when you pick do bad thing, the game's like, oh, how could you pick- how could you do bad thing? Are you a heartless monster? Like that. When the game is very on the nose about it. Undertale doesn't really do that. I mean, it kind of does. But it doesn't do it with the game, it's like, like the characters in the game react to the, how you choose to play, which is a good way of doing it. You are, you know, you're responsible for your actions, and the way the characters react to your actions, you have to be responsible for that too. You have to accept what you've done. Now there are some games that also don't, like, they don't even try to, they don't try to tell you what you did was right or wrong in any capacity. They simply let you, like, view what you did. Like when you blow the fuck out of Megaton, right? You can arm that bomb and blow that shit to smithereens. And no one's gonna tell you, you monster. You're just gonna have to live with the fact that you blew that shit up. Oh man, this is not a good spot for that fairy. Oh, he got it though. Oh, he got it. There you go. David Cage games do that. There was one game I heard that did something like that, where you just end up walking through a- You just slow walk through a big, like, like, uh, open area that's been hit by a gas attack, and you're just supposed to, like, sit there and observe the damage that you've done kind of deal. I like that. Yeah, in Undertale's case, it's like, obviously, the character writing is a big part of it, so when you see how the characters react to your decisions, that's obviously gonna make you feel bad, especially if you like the characters. But it's not like the characters in Undertale are just like, you know, they just, you do one thing and they're like, you're, you're missed, you, yeah, you're so, you should feel bad for everything you've done. Now, obviously, they look at you with disgust and like, I, you, you're like, in fear, 
Which is a normal reaction to that kind of uh, fucking psychopath running around. And that's- that's good. That's good writing. It's good character writing. It's a believable response to the universe- from the in-universe to uh, your actions. But it isn't ham-fisted and silly. Like, here are your options, chat. Uh, you can pet dog or kick dog. And if you pet dog, then the game goes, what a heckin' good doggo. Ugh. But if you kick dog, it's like, no, what do you- you can't- you can't do that. Why would you- you-, you why would you kick the dog? Are you some kind of, like, asshole? It's like, bro. You gave me the option to kick the dog. If I'm gonna kick the dog, then I'm gonna kick the dog. You know how you make me feel bad about that? You just make the dog whimper. As soon as the game tries to tell me what I did was wrong, it's just like, fuck off. You know? But if you just show me like, oh yeah, you kicked the dog, the dog obviously did not enjoy that, and the dog is now sad and scared of you, then I'm gonna feel like a real fucking asshole about it. That's... Like, think of the chows, too. Think of the chows. You can throw chows at the wall to uh, to make them the opposite affinity of what your character is and make them hate your character. And in the response, they often cry and are scared and like the game doesn't really... There's nothing in the game that tells you you can't do that. But the response from the chow for when you do do that is not, not nice to watch. I can't believe what I'm seeing on the screen. But look at the amount of time and effort that is going into this to make sure he can get up to the next fucking screen. I know what Dio would do. Everyone knows what Dio would do. Hmm. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> yes, this is really fucking bad. But it's okay, because he will, he will succeed. Skyward Sword had that toilet ghost quest that one didn't guilt trip you. That one's funny because the way you can- the way you do that one can actually- like, you get the same reward, but the outcome varies. So, for those of you that don't know, there's a quest in Skyward Sword for Gratitude Crystals, like a side quest thing. Where, uh, one of Groose's friends wants you to deliver a love letter. They want you to deliver a love letter to somebody, and there are two choices you can do. So one, you can deliver the love letter. Nice. You can deliver the love letter to the intended recipient, to which she'll just turn him down because she doesn't like him. Or she has a boyfriend or something like that. I don't remember what the dealio is. But the other thing you can do is there's actually a ghost. There's a cla the good old-fashioned hand ghost in the toilet. And they're looking for paper. It's a female, apparently. <laughs> But you hand it- you hand it the- the paper to use, and it gives you the same- it gives you the same reward. It gives you the same reward as if- it, or if- as if the guy got turned down. But what happens is like, you know, you tell the guy that you gave the creepy ghost hand his love letter, and he gets really upset at you. And now every night he's stalked by the ghost hand, like, rubbing his head, because the ghost hand read the letter. Don't ask how that's possible. The ghost hand read the letter. And thought it was very nice, and now the ghost hand is now- the, Like, the toilet ghost hand is now haunting this dude. So he's got a- he's gonna get a ghost job in, in his, uh, his future. So, honestly, depending on how you look at it, that's the good ending. It's really up to interpretation, of course. It's up to interpretation whether or not that's the good ending. But the other ending is he gets rejected. But this way, he gets a ghost job, so come on now. Think about it. Think about the possibilities. But yeah, that's one of those things, that's a quest you can do in Skyward Sword, where the outcome is the same. No matter what choice you make, you get the same reward, but it alters a little bit of just the world around you. Hmm. It's just a hand. Seems like an upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> I'd agree. What are you doing? One of those spikes is, yeah, one of those spikes is supposed to shoot up at him. But it's hit detection seems to be piss poor. Oh my god. Dude, this can you see Reimu? I can. Do you see Reimu? Oh no. No. You can't make a screen like this. Why would you do this? Why would you do the blocks don't even light up? It's just completely invisible. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't believe that 
This is a real stage! This is a real screen in the game! Oh, I am so sad. I am so sad. This game got a 0 0.6 out of 10? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Point 0.6. A score less than 1. I love to hear some of the criticisms attributed to it. There must be a wiki or something for all these different fan games, and people play them and rate them. Because, you know, some of them are absolute dog shit. Mm. No, this is good difficulty. A, a literally invisible maze. This is this is good difficulty. This is a very this is very testing of one's skill and ability as a player. <laughs> yeah. Fang community is a site for games called Delicious Fruit. What's the problem, Reimu? Bunny. Oh, it's all three of them. <laughs> it's all three of them and Moko's theme is playing. What the- does- did the person that make this even fucking, like, play Toho? Does he even know what Toho is? Hmm? <laughs> it's a good screenshot. I can't look at it right now, though. 0 0.6. Atrocious. Hmm. So do you have to kill all three of them or just one of them? No, I can't believe the person who made this does anything about the series. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was strange. Whoa, that was also very strange. What is this background? Chat, what is this background? Is this... Is this Yomu's spell card background? Surely not, right? It's not Alice's either, is it? I feel like it's from PCB, though. Hmm. This game came out before Jun's time, so she's not here. Fine by me. She doesn't need to be here. Artistic interpretation. That's a fancy word for fuck it. Creative liberties are fine, but you know, sometimes you take too many of them and you know, it's like, oh shit, what are you doing? Headed. Ooh, hmm. Maybe Kagri is the only actual boss there, and Raisin and Eden are just. I must be the case because he's not even attempting to shoot them. This is just so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the best thing I've ever seen. I, f I love this game. How much time is left on this video? There's, uh, tw there's 20 minutes left, chat. There's 20 minutes left. 20 minutes left. <sighs> Gore. I hope the person that played this game went on to play better games afterwards and had a better time with those games because I just can't imagine just can't imagine what would drive you to do this if he didn't then no one would ever know what this game entails so he's a hero for that but I sincerely hope I sincerely hope that the video games that he played after this were Worlds, Leagues, Universe is better. You know? You know? Hmm. There's no way anybody speedruns this game. There's no chance anyone would want to speedrun this game. There are tons of other of these fucking I want to be the guy games. This is not one that gets speedrun because this game is ass. That entire tower section... Is the most anti speedrun bullshit I've ever seen. It's honestly just a crime. Crime of development. 
This game is a good example of how you shouldn't make these games, I think. There are a lot of things in this game that stand out as being egregiously bad choice for design. That invisible room was one of them. But pretty much every single, like, every single room is like that, huh? It's just a bunch of invisible blocks and stupid, uh, stupid tight reactions to, to trolls. Hee hee ha ha. Hee hee ha ha. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This fight might be the end of the game. For all I know, this is the last part of the game, and this fight's just gonna take 20 minutes because it's just that hard. Yep. How much HP do you think she has? Probably more than five. Probably more than 10. Probably more than 20. Yeah, take a breather. Take it a breather. I guess, yeah, there's a speed run for everything, sure, but the thing is, this is one of those games that has a lot of competition in terms of, like, what, like, if you had to choose one of these games to speed run, there's a lot of other ones that you could play that are significantly better. So, setting yourself to play this one for a speed run, is it really worth the record? Would it really be worth the record? You know, I got I got the fastest time on I Wanna Be the Shrine Maiden. I'd be impressed. But I wouldn't be impressed that you did it fast, I'd be impressed that you did it at all. Which, you know, that's that's not really what you want. If you're going for world records, what what do you what do you want when you go for world records? Do you want the recognition? Do you want the personal glory? What is it you speed run for, you know? Everybody has different things that they do. Some people just play because it's fun. Some people aim for personal best. Some people go for world records. All kinds of different uh, goals. Oh. But I just can't imagine personal satisfaction is something that you would you would speed run this game for. That's for sure. Mm-mm. <clears throat> This is the next 15 minutes. Well, that's fine because I got nowhere to be for an hour. So we're going to sit here and watch and we're going to pretend like he's the hero of our time. Well, he is the hero of my time. That's for sure. Remember, I know when this came out. I know. I know. You know what else came out in 2009? <laughs> Dalvania. Maybe that's not a fair comparison. Maybe not. But at the same time... There are more than just Toalvania came out in 2009. You're telling me this game came out in the same year as Toalvania? I can't use that as an excuse for its quality. Just, you know. But I see this is more a, this is more of an I want to be the guy fan game than a Toa fan game anyway. So, yeah. But there are a lot of great fan games that came from that era. Like most of uh, the really, really good ones came from that era, right? Don't uh, quote me on that because I don't know a lot of the release dates by heart. But obviously, Toalvania is the main one I know. Pretty sure Toal Mother came out around that time as well, the first one. And that game was pretty solid. It was very strange, but it was solid. Soccer came out in 2009. Oh, yeah. That's a fucking good game. Uh, Busy Person came out in 2009. Did it really? Damn. That one's great. But that one... That one's a bit of an acquired taste, I think. Because it's very strange. It's a very strange game. But I enjoyed it a lot. It has, it has, it's fully voiced, and it has good art, so obviously the production value is there in 2009. But the content of the game is very, uh, you know, hit or miss, depending on how you feel about that kind of thing. Personally, I love Busy Person because it's so fucking ridiculously stupid. And that's what makes it fun. <clears throat> Minecraft Classic came out in 2009. Wow. I didn't know Minecraft Classic was a Toho game. <laughs> wow. <clears> hmm. <throat> You know what's interesting about Tall Soccer is the original version doesn't seem to exist anywhere online anymore. Because the only version of Tall Soccer you can find is the expansion, uh, Mushuden. Or is it Mo, uh, Moshuden? Whatever. Moshuden? Whatever. Uh, it, that has like the all star mode. But you can't really find the original version of it anywhere. The only version of it that seems to exist on the internet anymore is the, uh, you know, the already updated version. Which is fine, because obviously you'd want to play the updated version. 
but I thought that was interesting. Sometimes people get it confused and think that Mushoden is uh, like Toa Soccer 2, but it's just an expansion on the original game. It's an expansion on the original game, and it became like the staple. Toa Soccer 2 is a thing that happened, and it's it's a really sad story. It really is. <clears throat> like, I don't want to rag on that game. I really don't. Because I want to believe the person who took it up to do to make it really, really cared about the the game in question, but they just weren't up to the task. So the end result was unfortunate, to say the least. But it, you could tell there was some heart there. You can tell they took it up because they really wanted it to continue, but they just didn't have the ability to capture what made Toa Soccer so great. A huge shame, but you know, applaud them for trying, but they were definitely, you know, they probably didn't get it good on the internet. This boss has a ridiculous amount of HP. Hmm. Okay. Busy person has, I believe Mountain of Faith exists, and Imperishable Night is the most recent one that I've yet to play. I'm still waiting for translation business for that. But, you know, if somebody just translates it on their own, and then that, 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 that's that, right? Not much I can do about it. We're currently just stuck in waiting limbo, which is a pain in the ass. So, yeah. That's it. I just Either I learn Japanese, or, like, uh, it gets, like something happens. But I can't really just go learn Japanese for the sake of a game, you know? It's a big time sink. But as it is, there's no... Uh, doesn't seem anywhere... The music stopped, by the way. The... And he died. <clears throat> okay. That was the whole of Moko's theme. An extra boss theme. Designed to be longer than most average themes. And it did not loop. It doesn't loop because when it gets to the end... You, wow. No. Well, it... <laughs> like I said, if it gets translated by somebody else, it gets translated by somebody else. If somebody actually ends up doing that, then they should probably let Hawk and I know, just in case, because he's been waiting for something for that, but he can't really make a move on it. But if somebody else is like, hey, I'll do it, then, you know, like, obviously I doubt he'd mind. He'd fit, uh, but it'd be best to, like, you know, just let him know, because that would help immensely the situation. And then there you go. Now, I'm not telling anybody they have to do that. I'm not expecting anyone to either. But if somebody does take it up, then there you go, right? It's a big game. A lot of words. A lot of uh, playtime in there. I'd love to play it. I just don't know how many other people would, right? And the thing about those games is they're a large, large time sink for, uh, for translating. And it can be hard to do that. It can be hard to translate all that on your free time, right? They used to happen a lot in the early days, but it's not so simple anymore. And of course, translators also tend to go for... They go for the big fish, right? Translators often will go for the big fish because the big fish is how they really get their name out there for their, uh, their work. You want to be the guy who translates the good games because when you translate the good games, you know, it looks good on the... looks good on the old resume, right? And also, translating is a time commitment. It requires technical knowledge as well. It's a lot more to it than just knowing the language. So dedicating so much time and effort for free on something that's like just like not really going to be appreciated by a lot of people stings. And that's kind of what happened to uh, that's what happened with uh, I Ace Attorney. The original I Ace Attorney game that was translated was really well received. So the original translator went to translate to set the second game. And he did. He went. He translated the whole second game, but the response to it was middling at best. So he just moved on. Decided he no longer wanted to translate them. I guess the person who was translating the busy person games originally was only doing so as a form of like practice for translation. So after he did Imper uh, Immaterial Missing Power, he's just like, I'm done with these games. I'm done translating them, which is fine. He did a he did a good number of them. Immaterial and Missing Power definitely had a lot less uh, proofreading to it than the other ones for sure. So it shows that was his last uh, endeavor on that. 
But he did give us a lot of them, so I'm thankful for that. Okay. Yeah, so the second game of Aya Ace Attorney was translated probably in like 2013 or 14 or some crazy shit. Like, really early. And then, just uh, randomly, I was contacted by a viewer, Watef. <laughs> and he was like, hey, I translated the next game in the Aya series. And I was like, you what? So then I was able to continue the Aya series because of translations from, from, uh, from somebody who wanted to translate them. And I've been able to play the th uh, the the third game and the bonus game, some of the bonus games. There's still more Aya to play as well, so it's not over yet. But it's crazy that those games came out so long ago, but like the tra English translation for them is not even uh, not even a year old for the latest one, despite the game coming out closer to 2011. It's wild. It's cool though. I enjoy it because it lets me get to play. It, it lets me play those games, and I like those games. There's not a lot of Toa visual novels in general. And obviously, translating them can be a real bitch because there's so much text. There's a ridiculous amount of text to them. Whereas, platformer games and stuff, you only really have to translate a few, like, you know, a few things here and there and with the control scheme and whatnot. But the translating a whole visual novel, the entire game is based on the text. Oof. This is rough, by the way. Just this is just rough. This is this is uh, gameplay from somebody who clearly knows how to play the game and is good at it, but this is still like this is still giving them this much trouble. That that speaks pretty pretty uh, <laughs> pretty largely for how good this this game is, huh? Oh man. Gotta be thankful for them translators. Well, most of the time. Most of the time. Chat, is there a difference between a translator and a localizer? This is an important question. Because when I think of translating a translator, I just think of somebody who tra changes the language so it's readable. A localizer is somebody who changes the language to better match local stuff, right? Like for kids. For example, changing the onigiri to uh, a jelly donut. That's localization, but that's not necessarily a- it's, it is a translation, but it's, you know, it's- it's that. Hmm. Translation is Mr. Satan, localization is Hercule. You know what? That's actually perfect example. With DVZ, I fig- uh, you know, talk to me like I'm a first grader. Use DVZ as an example. We got it. I figured it out. Uh... But, you know, well, I don't actually like localization very much because I often find that trying to find a one-to-one -one comparison for what the, the source is saying is not really possible to do naturally. So I think it's better if it's just not touched and it lets people learn a little bit more about other cultures as well. Like, 4Kids removed pretty much anything that was culturally different so it would make more sense to kids over, over here, which... It's not like I don't understand why they do that, but at the same time, I'd rather they didn't. That's just me, anyway. Because then you have, like, with uh, the whole Lotus Eaters... The whole Lotus Eaters translation, as well, is very localization heavy. So, it just keeps, like, destroying words and creating English counterparts for them that don't actually work properly. So, it just comes off as really bad. It's really, really not good. That's kind of like this fight. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Okay. There are a lot of fan translations that have translators' notes all over the place, which is honestly... That's a more... That's, I'm perfectly fine with a billion translators' notes with a proper explanation, but just keeping the subject matter, you know, to the same. <laughs> Although it depends on how much they don't translate. Like... I think it depends on it. Yeah, that's a death. Like, for example, chat, if I was, uh, if I was gonna translate something, like, if, if somebody handed me a rice ball, right, and said, here, a rice ball, it's a rice ball, right? So, for, like, fan translation, here's, here's kind of how it works. So, localization, that rice ball turns into a donut, as we know, right? Turns into a donut. Uh, translation, it turns into rice ball. 
But some fan translations will be like, here, have this onigiri. And then in the translator's note will be like, uh, translator's note, onigiri means rice ball. Like, you could have just said, here, have a rice ball, and I would have understood it. Because I would have he heard them say onigiri. Like, it is onigiri, but it's a rice ball, right? That's just the way they call it a rice ball. So you can call it a rice ball, too. You don't need to throw in, like, a bunch of Japanese words and then translator's notes telling me what they mean when you can just straight up translate the word and have it be A-OK, -okay, right? Keikaku Dori Da, that's, that's a classic one, yeah. All according to Keikaku. Keikaku means plan. <laughs> See, I want to believe that that was done in shitpost, like, as a shitpost, but at the same time, like, why would you... If that was done re uh, legitimately, why would you do that? What's the point of that? When you can just say all according to plan. It's very clear by the build-up of the sentence structure that all according to plan was what it was going to be. So just randomly using the word keikaku and then putting the translator note in there and being like, Oh, by the way, it means this. It's like, no shit it means that. I could have figured it out pretty easily. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Without translators... And to a lesser extent, localizers. We wouldn't have a lot of things overseas. But I'm really a chat. Sometimes I wonder if we deserve to have some things over here with how badly we butcher with localization. The number of times you hear about localization fucking something up in a game coming overseas is more than you'd like to probably like to acknowledge. Oh, we did it. He's gonna die, isn't he? Why are you playing Tetris? Why are we playing this game? Oh. Oh, stinky. Oh. Why he die? There's... Chat, there's four minutes left. There's four minutes left of the game. No, there was a tweet or something some time ago about uh, some some localizer going on about how the game they localized wouldn't be half as popular as it was if it wasn't for the localization. And, well, that didn't go over well. I don't remember the details on that at all. But some people really hold their jobs in high regard. You know, put an executive title next to it and get your big britches. Translation's important. Oh my god. Localization, on the other hand, you know, depends how much you ruin. Fire Emblem Fates got a good old heap and helping of localization. So did fu fucking uh, whatever that uh, FE slash SMT game as well. Nintendo uh, Treehouse localizers had a, a nasty hand in that cookie jar for quite some time, huh? They just didn't want to give it up. This is great. I'm having a great time right now. I'm sure this guy's having a great time too. There's not very much time left. There's two minutes left. Hmm. Hmm. Fates made it so Treehouse wasn't allowed to ha uh, as many creative liberties. You know what? That's actually great to hear. I was wondering why they didn't stick their hand in too many more games after that. Probably because the fucking f uh, flack for what they did in that one was too much. You might as well have given it to four kids. If, if four kids had localized uh, Fire Emblem Fates... I guarantee it would have been looked at a little more fondly. But all the treehouse ones, all the treehouse changes are just ugly. They're just bad. There's not even anything funny about them. There's a, there's a minute and 30 seconds left. What is this stinky ass Tetris music? <laughs> is, it, is it gonna end? It has to end in the next minute. This is the... Wh why is this your last... Why is this the last screen in the game? Why would you make this the last screen of the game? Are you serious, dude? <laughs> I'm so angry. There's now less than a minute left. There's now less than a minute left. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. I don't even know where he's going. Oh. Oh my god. Does think the ceiling's gonna kill him? 
There's 20 seconds left of the video. Oh my god. This is it. This is it. The end. That's the end of the game. That's... That's the end of the game. The game just ends in a room that kills you, and that's it. That's it. It's the end of the game. All right. Well, there you go. There is. There is my uh, my sub goal. There is my. There's my precious time spent on whatever that was. And this is me leaving right now. Goodbye. That, I don't know what to say about that. I really don't. I can't believe that's how it ended though. You know, the game just had so much potential that I, I just expected it to have like amazing payoff. I really did. From its level design to its boss direction, like... I was just so curious to how it was gonna end. And how did it end? Three completely invisible screens with spikes and Tetris blocks into a kill tele teleporter. Alright. Please clap, chat. Please clap. Good game. <laughs>